Azdfgai76 is here. Welcome back to the stream Azdfgai76 ya son of a bitch. Yeah, I saw the ban list, uh, and my 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 fears came true. Uh, Maxi getting banned because of Snake Eye. So let's just hope uh, it doesn't get banned in, in Master Duel, though. Yeah, I actually played off stream. I I played off stream a couple duels just to get back to Plat One. I didn't I didn't duel anymore though. I just stopped right here. Cause like I don't want to waste time in my stream working my way back up. I didn't really do anything yesterday though. I was at a I was at a birthday party yesterday. I would have been streaming if I wasn't at the party. Um, I was just about to ask if you played. Yeah, I'll stream. Uh, what up, Zilly? Um, so yeah, there's the the there's the new TCG ban list. And then there's the uh, the new Maxi looking card, which um, honestly looks like they made that just for Master Duel. Is he getting social? I prefer not to be though. I'm just I'm doing a little changes in my life, you know. Been working on some things. I've been too lost in the sauce. I've been too lost in the streaming sauce for the past like three three years. So like I'm like going out more, talk to my friends and family more and shit like that. Working out, getting fit again. The world is healing. Um, let me see if I can pull up the new um, uh, TCG ban list because that might have some implications to Master Duel. <clears throat> Is it weird that I don't want to, and I just want to like stream all day? <laughs> I just want—I still want to stream twenty-four-seven. Uh. The calories are still the same. Um, honestly, though, it looks like I'm going to have to bump it. Like, I think I'm going to have to bump them down. Because I've been maintaining 183 and 184 for like two. Like, it feels like two weeks. Let me double check. I've been maintaining 184 to like 183 uh, for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Almost, okay, almost two weeks. 
So maybe I'll give it like two more days. And then if I don't go to 182, I might have to drop my calories. So I'm averaging about 2000. So I'm going to have to go to like maybe 1850. Okay. Uh, let's see. Where can I go look at the... Where do you guys go to look at the ban lists? Just Google TCG ban lists. Is it in effect already? So Baron is banned. Uh, will they do that? Did I just fuck something on my screen? My screen's fine, right? I didn't fuck anything up. Okay, we're good. Tomorrow? Pull up the ban list. Cookies. Reject all cookies. View list here. Okay, let me just pull up Twitter. Twitter has like a good picture. The Twitter. People are thinking Appalooza will be banned soon as well at least in tcg all right let me go use search let me write tcg um nothing's popping up what the fuck okay i'm gonna have to search be more specific I know all the Yu-Gi-Oh people talked about it, so let me just search up a random Yu-Gi-Oh person. Or actually, right here, Yu-Gi-Oh News. Okay, it should be down here somewhere. Uh, right here. Okay, cool. I got it. Mm, let me click the tweet. So here's the TCG ban list. Uh, so yeah, Link Rebo was banned, which is what I I, I thought could happen because of Snake Eyes. Oh, it's all Majo Meta. We want to go over the banned cards first. Okay. Yeah. So Link Rebo banned. Uh, uh, Baron banned. Um, Sa like, was Savage really that bad? Like, I don't play TCG. So, like, I don't know how bad this was in TCG. Like, I don't think Savage is that big of a problem. Like, yeah, it's an Omni Negate. Um, but, like, you, you need Link monsters. You, like, just... Just making Barlow Savage isn't enough. Like, you have to make links. Like, what was the what was the big deal behind this one? Banning summon limit? Like, I it's totally understandable. Cause like it's just the way the way Yu-Gi-Oh! is played, you have to summon more than twice. Like you have to. Like, this game is all about, like, just forget about special summoning and normal summoning. Just summoning in general. Like, you got to summon a, a bunch of times. Like, this is just, this is totally toxic. Now we just need the macro cosmo cards banned. All the banishing stuff. Get that shit banned. Uh, Protos, uh, one. I don't know if that's a change or not. Like... Uh, I don't know if this was banned or not in TCG because I don't play anymore. I think Colossus was banned in TCG, right? I think originally Colossus was banned and now it's at 1 in, in uh, TCG. So Link, Baron, and Savage ban seems to be a way to deal with Snake Eyes without uh, hitting Snake Eyes directly. Okay, so Borload Savage is it's collateral damage, which is like... Um, Konami always does that. It's so fucking annoying. And it's just so, like, people can, like, still buy the expensive cards. Bro, Kirin getting unbanned is, is is super dope. Back when I used to be a Pendulum, pendulum player, this got banned when I was a Pendulum player in TCG. So I was, fuck, I, I was pissed for, like, a long time. And now they're finally bringing it back to one. This card is so good. Like, I don't know if it's going to be, if it's going to make a big impact in tcg but like this like i think this card is really good uh i want it i want to see it in master duel 
Even if I'm not gonna play it. You should probably share the screen. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> God damn it. I thought I was already doing that. <laughs> so yeah, Kirin. To one now. During either player's turn, you can target a pendulum monster in your monster zone and one monster opponent controls. Like, so you just target itself. Return them to the hand. And your opponent can't target it or destroy it with card effects. So, like, it's super, like, difficult to deal with. And it just, every, like, you get a guaranteed interruption with this card, which is why it got banned. And being untargetable, it was kind of, like, very, very hard to deal with. Easily searchable in Magiceptors. So, I would like to see this at one in uh, Master Duel. Chicken game, I think, was banned in TCG. Now it's at one. Anti spell fragrance, uh, either ban this or put it to one. All these toxic, continuous spell and trap cards that like don't let you play the game. You need to, you like, they need to all just be banned or put to one max. They shouldn't be running around more than two. More than one, I mean. Armageddonite, uh, I think, was at 1 for the longest time in TCG. What is it in Master Duel? Is it at 1, 2? I know it's at 3 in OCG. Arm. It's at 3 in Master Duel as well. Okay, cool. I kind of changed up my deck again, my Valk deck. I'm testing out the Chaos Space in my Valks. Who let me cook, bro? A Pearly card. The list you're looking at shows the status of the cards in Master Duel. Um... Where it says OCG? Is that considered Masterdual? I thought Masterdual was kind of like its own thing. On the card itself? Oh. Like the big one right there. And the band there. And the two there. And the one there. What up, bait? What is this? Make one monster in the field unable to be destroyed by battle. Then you can discard a card, especially with Pearly. Okay. Uh, Sky Striker Ace. Uh, Sky Striker Mobilize Engage is going to three. Which is super fucking annoying. And uh, just, f I, I fucking hate Sky Striker so much. Uh, Terra Top to three, which honestly is like no big deal. Uh, it's good for speed roids. Uh, Harpoor to three, though, it's kind of crazy. Uh, and malicious to three in TCG. Hmm. This could this could make some big plays. Malicious to three is actually kind of crazy. Cause now you can use it twice, right? Actually, wait, no. You can't use it twice. It just makes it more consistent. Because you have to banish the one from the graveyard. Summon the one from the deck, so there'll be one left. Yeah. You can basically play four because you can put one on the top of the deck. With that, yeah, the level three guy. They can recur the banish card for, uh, with Denier. Den yeah, Denier is level 3. So yeah, that's actually... That's pretty good, man. Um, so... I think the effects this ban list... Could have on OCG... Is that Link Rebo can be hit. Um, maybe Baron as well. You could also throw in Summon Limit... Like, will they really hit Borrowed Savage and, and Mazardol? I, I don't think so. 
Uh, Protoss to one, that's not going to do anything. Uh, I don't think they're going to... I think they're just going to leave Protoss to what it is in Master Duel. Uh, I think they already brought this card back in Master Duel, right? Yeah. Kirin, I would love to see this back in... in, in, in see it in Master Duel for once. Chicken Game? Uh, does even, anyone even play Chicken Game in Master Duel? Uh, Spell Fragrance, I hope they hit that in Master Duel. Uh, I'm ready again. Knight's already at three. Uh, I don't. This is at one right now. That's probably just gonna stay the way it is. Uh, I hope they don't. I hope they leave. Fucking. Oh my god. Like, please just. I miss the good old days when this was at one. Yeah. So then there's also. Um, hold on. I gotta be careful when I open up Twitter. Uh, okay. So this is the new. Um, this is the new, like, maxi retrain. And Demian plays Chicken Game and some Exodia. So that's it. Valk's played Chicken Game, technically. Valk's best deck. Have you guys seen this card yet? Twitter won't shut the fuck up about this card. Like, <clears throat> like, compared to Max E, like, if this existed rather than Max E, it would be better. Right? If we're, if we're just, like, like, what Max E does, right? It just completely fills your hand with a bunch of shit. Uh, this is the better alternative because your hand, like, the, the opponent's hand can still be big, but, like... It's not going to, like, cover the whole screen like in Master Duel. Um, what I hate about this card, what I absolutely fucking hate about this, is, yeah, the normal summon. So, every time your opponent normal summons, like, you get a guaranteed draw. So, sometimes Max C, some people, they would just pass, right? Or just normal summon pass, so you don't get the draw. This card, you get you get a guaranteed draw. Because who's not going to, like, norm, who's not going to summon a monster, right? You got to at least summon one monster. Unless you, like, you have a bunch of back row, right? Uh, right? Which is not going to be the case most of the time. So, like, I don't like that they... What this card says is that it shouldn't count the first normal summon. So, like, it, it says each time your opponent normal summons or special summons, it should say after, like, the first normal summon. This could be used against flow, which is pretty funny. Cause man, like sometimes when they'd activate Maxi, they won't get a draw. You could just make potentially make a board off one summon well, off one summon. But now they're guaranteed a draw, so it's like, okay, well do I just continue since they already got a draw? So finally, Flo will understand how playing under Max E feels. Um, it says also, there's, there might be more mulch chummy cards. It says you can only activate the uh, uh, the effects of other mulch chummy monsters once during the turn you activate this card's effects. So what I'm thinking is they kind of made the wording to sound like just in case they wanted to do this with like other hand traps as well. Like, they might make a Malt Chummy version of, like, almost, like, every hand trap. So that you can't just use all of the, all of the Malt Chummy cards. So, like, only two mags. I think Maxi's better because this card only counts summons from the hand. Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. I totally missed that part. Um, only from the hand. So, like, card decks like my, like my Valks, this doesn't really do anything. All it does is it gives them one draw. That's it. Because all of our special summons either are from the graveyard or from the deck. There's some cases from the hand, but that's only because of Sigrun. Uh, so, like, this isn't going to be as strong as Maxi, which is the whole point, right? Of Maxi Retrain, is that Maxi was too busted. But, um, only from the hand, though, which is, like, because, like, if this comes to, to Magistool, they're going to ban Maxi. Because why the fuck would you have this and 
max E at the same time, right? So only drawing from the hand, it's, it's kind of like it's weird. I don't know how to feel about that yet. Like, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing because I feel like there's going to be a lot of decks that just keep special summoning from the deck and you just don't draw shit. So you just get one draw from the normal summon and then they just pop off. They just keep popping off and you keep drawing from the deck. Or I mean, they keep special summoning from the deck. So it's kind of like weird. During the end phase, if you have more cards in your hand, then the number of cards your opponent controls plus six. So you can't, you, you're not going to be able to get more than um, six extra cards. So that limits you to six. And then it shuffles back randomly as well. So you could end up getting a dog shit hand. If your deck doesn't have enough like searching, you should get a bunch of like fucking weird cards left in your hand because it's at random. Like you don't get to pick. It's definitely it's definitely a, a nerf to Maxi. I think at most you'll get three draws from this. Like Snake Eyes, you have a uh, Black Witch, uh, yeah, from the hand. Poplar, from the hand, yeah, and the normal summon from the, the Ash. Is there any like generic special summons from the hand? N Nibiru. There's also Nibiru as well if you get Hand Trap. So it's still a. So this against Nibiru is still a a, a a plus two, right? If you maxi Nibiru, you get two draws, right? So this would be the same thing. With Nibiru, you can't activate it. You, this one. You can't activate this one. Because you would control cards. Oh yeah, that's right. You have to. You have to. Oh yeah, that's right. So you have to also control nothing. You have to also control nothing to activate this card. So it's mainly just the first play of the duel. You go first and your opponent opens up this version of Maxi. Then they have to activate it. So... I mean... I guess, overall, I think it is better than Max C from the from the position of, like, balance-wise. Like, this card is definitely more balanced than Max C. Max C, zero restrictions at all. Definitely, definitely healthier than Max C. Like, I still think if Maxi gets banned. Everyone is playing this at three. Also, it's a level four water aqua. Is there some sort of water deck that can search this? So, like, water decks will have a little bit of a advantage. Like, maybe you can, um, what's that water cybers deck? Can they, like, search this? Due to, uh... To what? Due to what? Like, you meant to say Colossus? Due to Colossus, Engage, and Harp Horror, we basically back in TOSS format. Umi, maybe? Ice Jade? Ice Jade? I think Ice Jades only search other Ice Jades. Isn't there a trap card that, uh, that when sent to the graveyard allows you to add an aqua? Um, I'm not too sure. Is that is it that that continuous trap? What's what's TOSS? 
Is that a... That's a... Like a, a set? A Yu-Gi-Oh set? Hold on, I'm just rearranging some things on my screen. Thunder Dragon, Orca, Sky Striker, and Salamangrate. Was that like the most healthy format or something? Top four decks. <clears throat> okay. So, I made another version of this deck. Uh, I was actually performing pretty well off stream. But not this version. This version I literally just made before stream, before I went live. Because I wanted to test out Chaos Space. So in order to test out spa Chaos Space, I needed to put Dark Monsters in my deck. So I put back the Magician Souls engine. So this would be like my discard fodder. And it could also, let's say, um, you have to discard Light or Dark Monsters. So, so let's say uh, I open up Magician Souls. And there's a dead illusion of chaos in my deck. I could also dis like send a light monster from my hand to the graveyard. Hopefully, something uh, like a Trias to search my illusion of chaos. So like this wouldn't be a dead card. I can like pitch something to my graveyard and then potentially bring it back with uh, Ritual Sanctuary. And then if they banish my shit, my Ritual monsters, I can potentially draw a card as well, which is pretty cool. Ice Barrier is what I was thinking of. Uh, that adds a level 5 or higher water monster. Oh yeah, so it wouldn't be able to search it. I forgot about that card. That's a good card. I like that. I like Ice Barrier. I uh, I think I used it in Goaties, right? Alright, let me test. This will be the first time I test, it, uh, test this. So Chaos Space actually searches all my ritual monsters. Uh, send a letter dark. And then at your hand, uh, a monster with... Uh, Levels from 4 to 8 with a different attribute than the monster you discarded. That can't be normal summoned or set. So, ritual monsters. Is there still ice barrier support that hasn't released yet in Master Duel? I thought we got, we, we got I, all the ice barrier support. Or you just want more support in general? Okay, so we already opened up our optimal hand, so we don't need Chaos Space. We could search Magician Souls with it. Set one pass, interesting. Double Chaos, bro, what the heck? Um, I will activate this now, though. We'll get that seshed in the graveyard. We could also dump the second Chaos Space to get a draw. On top of the deck. Yeah. Okay, since I know he's not ashing anything. Uh, oh shit, what am I discarding though? No, actually I don't need to search the ritual just yet. Let's get rid of Chaos Space and let's see if he has ash in the hand. We'll get rid of it. We'll dump this Chaos. Okay, good. No maxi. We'll ditch the chaos space. Imperm. Okay, cool. So this guy was this guy was playing with his toggle. There was like no delays at all. It was a good thing we did that first. We're still missing three cards, the synchro and two monsters. You need something dash to activate chaos space in the graveyard though. Uh yeah, I know. That's just uh there's nothing there's no way we like I can activate it myself. So it w it's like just in case my opponent like um, banishes my Ohime, which has happened sometimes. Also, also that that just reminds me, brother! Oh my fucking god! 
That just reminded me, uh, there actually is a way I can trigger it. The equip card. The the Mikonko equip card. Okay, so we're not going to activate this because there's nothing for us to discard. Or actually, you know what? I'll still activate it. I'll get my... Uh, I'll show you. Um, so we can actually trigger it with this card. So like this card... Uh, you activate it from the graveyard to special summon any Mikonko card and then equip it. And then when that Mikonko gets uh, removed from the field, it gets banished. So that's how I can trigger it. Which is actually pretty dope. Uh, 2500 attack, right? Scooped. So I can actually trigger Chaos Space myself, which is actually pretty pretty cool. I, I just like figured that up figure that out now. <clears throat> he was like, fuck that shit. Okay, this hand cannot play through a single ash, and we're going second. Not good. Uh oh, volcanic snake eyes. There's so many things to hit. I don't even know what to hit, man. Like, what do I even ash? I guess I'll. I guess I ash the uh, snake eyes engine. I'll let him play the volcanic stuff. But, not, but then they're probably going to go into Hida to extend. Oh shit, I left my water in my fridge. <laughs> I think there's a rice up my nose. Sometimes when I eat like rice or noodles, I don't know, it like travels. Travels up my news. I remember you burned for so much, man. My hand ain't looking too good, man. I cut Ben Town for uh, ben, uh, ben Town Ben Ten from three to two, and I opened up both of them. I also took out Cyber Tutu, Tutu Bond, so I don't have a way to tribute it. Man, I re I'm like I'm really liking Cyber Tutu Bond, but it's like not searchable. I have no way of searching it. He passed on this because he knew, but because because he knows we have wow, oh my fucking god, because he knows we have Ash, and he, I guess if he has the Snake Eyes cards, he can't stop the Ash. Uh, nothing just hand traps i guess like if this gets ashed we lose and then if it doesn't we search ohime and then if ohime gets ashed we lose Like, look at this hand, bro. How do you get this unlucky? We're going to have to ditch one uh, Ben 10. Because I'm probably going to be using... There's a chance I can use an Ash this turn and next turn. Wish I had some equips in the grave. Should be both my ashes. It's level six. Okay, maybe it's not an ash. <coughs> From the deck to my hand. Diviner. Uh, 
it's not an ash. Valor. Um, no, because it was there was a delay when we had no monsters on our field. Uh, now, do I tribute Ohime? Um, I kind of want to because we we kind of got to deal with this. Uh, you know what? He did play in the Anima Zone, so we'll steal that. Yeah. I'll, okay, I won't pop that. He played in the Anima Zone. We're going to be stealing that. Bro, it was a Max C. Okay, so there's our first Ash. Why would you not activate Max C in response to my Ritual Summon? The fuck? That's crazy. We're going to be uh, stealing that. Oh, I had Ritual Sanctuary in my hand. We could have went Egg instead. Bro, I, I like totally forgot I had this in my hand. So we could we could have like extended way crazier. Oh, wait, no, no. This is what I wanted. Sesh. Never mind. Forget what I just said. I'm stupid. I'm freaking stupid. Another delay. Is that Nibiru? If it's Nibiru... If it's Nibiru, I need to go into Appaloosa right now. I I think it's I think it's a Nibiru. It sucks that I have to do this. But I have to. He should have nibbed. He should have nibbed, brother. He should have nibbed. Ah, a little bit earlier, brother. If Albuza gets banned, how, like, I, how do I even stop Nib? He thinks I'm done. I ain't done yet, brother. I ain't done yet, brother. We're gonna extendo. Bring back, uh, not the Sesh, the Diviner, because we're gonna. Two spells? Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. We're going to be getting ri rid of Ritual Sanctuary to bring back Sashed. It's okay if I'm still getting burned. Get rid of that. We're free to do as we please. <clears throat> oh, I just fucked up my animal play by making Appaloosa. I just realized that. Okay, and unfortunately, we can't go into Elf because we need to go into Chaos Angel. Yeah, I can't do Anima because uh, he we had to stop the Nib. I just realized. Yeah, Chaos Angel is the only play. And we still have one Ash, too, so we pretty much win. Yeah. We, we, we win. Wait, hold on. He still has this card, though. He still has the Volcanic card. Um, So, if I make Muckcracker, bring back Chaos Angel, banish, 35, 45... 60 no we don't have a game popped in against volcanic this ought to be good what up jay welcome back um i might okay we're gonna go battle phase <clears throat> okay we don't have game but the one ash may be good now we're gonna go we're gonna get rid of chaos angel as much as i don't want to we got to make Elf so we can bring back Diviner. Um, yeah, we're going to have to just pass here. Diviner's our only level 2 target. We need to bring it back on his turn. So he has two cards in hand. Uh, he does have this card. 
Oh, it doesn't have a graveyard. It only has a graveyard effect when sent. Once for turn, you target one piece of monster, put one power monster, protect the graveyard, and then destroy it, right? Um, yeah, we're going to ash that. <clears throat> we Because we need the monster negate. I would gladly sacrifice ash so I can get three monster negates. Let's go. Let's go. We're two wins away from diamond. Nice. Sucks I never got the burger, mate. That was when I quit. Bro, what the fuck, this hand? Oh my god. We, like, um... Have nothing. Oi, oi, oi. This would be great going second. That's crazy, man. Chaos Space, uh, it does search us. Magician Souls. But the... Man. So, Ohime can search the Ritual Spell or the Equip. But if I use Ohime, that means I'm going to have to discard something. And... What I like what I'm thinking of is getting magician souls so I can get rid of some spells and draw two. So like might have I might have to get rid of the cross out. Because this hand just sucks. I'm only playing one Nibiru, so if the max seed doesn't get st stopped, we're just hoping to draw Nibiru. No, we, we don't play Arabesque unfortunately. Uh I had to I had to cut it. I I really wish I man like I would love Arabesque man, but I had to cut back on the Mikonkos. Man, this hand is bad. This is bad hand. Bad going first. Great going second. Um, I also took out Ceremony. Mikon uh, oh, he may doesn't give me any light monsters. So I like I have to ditch it right now for Chaos Space. And then I'd have to ditch cross out in hopes that I could top deck a good draw. Because I need to send a light or dark monster for Chaos Space. I could also just honestly set pass. Wow, and he has nothing to search the equip and then we'll just ditch the equip. And then Chaos Space is still alive. Um, Woods give me Magician Souls. But then, am I really going to ditch Cross out just to draw one card? We do have Ash and Maxi, so like it's worth it because like we could just get OTK'd. Everybody plays three Ash. Two Call Buys. Cross out. We got to risk it for the Biscuit, man. We got to risk it for the Biscuit, bro. Illusion of Chaos, and then we search Magician Souls. And then we just draw one. We got a hope. And, like, this crossout is also, like, super important, too. Like, it, like man. But we gotta do what we gotta do. Like, I'm not gonna end, I'm not gonna end on an empty field, even though I have Ash and Maxi. I'd have to, like, get really lucky. Hoping I could get lucky right now though come on bro oh my god do i normal summon ash make herald of arc light do i normal summon ash and make an arc light what up pino honestly 
Hold on, let me just double check. It's generic, right? One tuner, one more non-tuner monsters. Yeah, okay, we're gonna do it. Fuck, fuck this. We have, we have to. <laughs> oh my god, we have to do it. You could turns off Maxine until you negate. Yeah, uh, which which we will because we it's an Omni negate, so it's not it's not too bad. Oi oi oi! Let's see if he has Imperm. He's got the cursed Tira. I'm gonna negate the spell card. He's gonna search Unicorn. We don't even know if he could summon it yet, but if he searches the level four, I'm in big trouble. Because if he searches level four, I can't max C. But then he's going to make an X, Y, Z, and then I could just negate that. Okay, you know what? I'm going to wait. He could just go battle phase as well. Okay, he, he searched Unicorn. Does he have the spell already? Diablo Engine. Cool. He can't even summon that, right? Because it gets he can't even he can't even special summon that. It'll be banished, correct? Any monster sent from the hand or main deck to the graveyard? Okay, no, never mind. So he does get to summon it. Fuck. Man, I really cucked myself. This maxi needs to activate now. So this could just be a bait. He's already he ditched one for one. He could still have Bonfire. He could still have the Ash itself. There's three Bonfires. There's three Ashes. There still is the the Sinful Spoil card that can special summon it from the deck. Let's see what he searches. Bro! Oh my fucking god! Holy shit, dude! You are fucking kidding me. And we lost. Man, our hand was just trash. Our hand was just really bad, man. Honestly, we, we would have had we would have had a better hand. Like we would have had a better play if we if we negated the, the Fenrir. But man, I, I thought I was playing pure cash because it's 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 bitch ass cash Tira, which has like its own little engine that you could just splash in every deck, and then Snake Eyes itself already is such a low effort, low commitment deck which is why it's the best deck literally, literally you have like a million ways to get ash which gives you like a one card combo so you can just like you have so much room to squeeze in cards like a bunch of hand traps and shit like Kashira. like it's, konami always does this 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 filth man konami always does this dog shit uh style of Yu-Gi-Oh to sell like the best deck they do it they do this like fucking what Every fucking year with like one or two decks. Which is why it's always the best deck. And that's how they make a bunch of money. People buy that shit. They eat that shit up. Fuck, man. That sucks. Oh my fucking god, this guy. Hurry up! This guy's fucking teasing, bro. These fiber gummies are so good.
Oh man, this is like this is exactly what 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 I said would happen. I would just break on hand traps if I put them in my fucking deck. What if I run them at two? What if I run? Oh my fucking god! <laughs> I was gonna say, what if I run two maxis, two ashes? We're gonna, fuck. This hand sucks too. What up, Tana? Okay, we're gonna have to do. We're gonna have to do this. Ancient warrior, welcome to the stream. Uh, this hand, not going first, not good. We can't. We can't stop an ash. We get ashed. That's going to be fucking annoying. Can't stop a Max E. I don't know why he Max E on normal summon. Now we got Max E. So I either just pass. And then get OTK next turn. I have to search a spell card. We need to search a spell card. Uh, we want Kagura in the deck. So we're going to search the equip card. We're going to ditch the Cess we searched. We're now going to Ritual Sanctuary. We're going to ditch the Equip card. So that we can search Cyber Angel Ben 10. And then we're going to... See, if if I wasn't Max Seed, I could pop off. Bring Special Summon the Seshed from, that I just sent to the Graveyard. That was special summon Sigrun. Um, I don't even have a rank nine play. Do I give him a? You know, yeah, we're, we're not gonna end on one monster. If it's Sword Soul, we get OTK'd. If it's uh, Snake Eyes, we get OTK'd. If it's Labyrinth, uh, we don't get OTK'd. But let's just hope maybe it's Labyrinth. They get to draw a card. Do I really want to summon from the deck a level 9 and give him a second draw? Like, my hand is really bad. <sighs> okay, whatever. We'll just set up a defense. Uh, he drew an ash. Summon in the anima zone. Find out what deck he's playing. Hopefully, we don't give him any fucking advantage. And it's Snake Eyes. Cool. We just milled the Poplar. And we just triggered its effect. And that is... Uh, uh, I have two max Cs. Oh, no. It just goes into Spell and Trap Zone. Okay. It special summons when it, it searched. Um, like, we just pass, man. We just pass. We're under max E, so we just we have to pass. Well up gelato. We draw freaking all these max E's, bro. I'm just gonna max E this now. He probably he probably has call by or ash. He definitely I think he definitely has ash. There it is, right there. Oh my god. That fucking chummy. That, that new Maxi retrained can't come quick enough, bro. Malt chummy. Get, get your ass over here in Master Duel right now. Right now. He wouldn't be able to activate Maxi because he controls two cards. Malt chummy card. Actually, no. He did that last turn. He maxied me when I normal summoned. So he he actually would have only drawn one card. If he, if he activated that mulch on me card last turn, he would have only got to draw one. The normal summon right here from Drit. Okay, so... He can potentially put one or two of my monsters in the spell and trap zone.
if he doesn't search subversion, then he could just put one potentially. If he doesn't put his own card in the bag zone. So we have a chance of not getting OTK'd, but like we can't we can't we, we won't be able to break the the board he makes. What up Matei? The IRS wants my money, Z. The biggest bullies in the world, man. Tell the IRS to get a job. Okay. This guy plays Birch. He, He's actually playing Birch. Tell those bums at the IRS to get a fucking job if they want some money, you know? No, I don't. I don't even play Summoner's War anymore. I log. I'll log in once a week to get my free Hall of Heroes, which you just reminded me. Hopefully, it's not too late. I'll log in and get my free hero. That's about it. That's all I do. What's the event? Pay it for me with your pretty Canadian dollars. I don't have any Canadian dollars. I don't even have any normal dollars. Bro, 2000. So my phone keeps automatically offloading Summoner's War. So I always have to download two gigs worth of data. Free Nat choice of your free Nat five of your choice? The fuck? Huh? Free now five and two hundred all attribute scrolls. Okay, that's definitely worth summoning for. Okay, uh, but like, is it? It's over the course of like what a couple weeks, right? I can't just go and collect all that right now. Like, I gotta probably do some missions and shit. If it's through missions, like, I'm probably not gonna do it to be honest, because that's just it's. I don't want to waste my time. I'd rather I'd rather do other stuff. If I'm not streaming. If I'm not streaming, I'm I'm just working out. Streaming, working out, and watching Amini. Get the first 100 scrolls almost immediately, as well as a nat five year choice. Takes like five minutes. We'll see. It's gonna take about 10 to 15 minutes to download Summoner's War. Cause I don't have much space on my phone. So my phone automatically lights like offloads apps I don't open in a while. Oh, let's see, dramatic snigger. I, I I don't know why they're doing a free nat five year choice when they already um when they made us wait like how many months. For the summon 10 nat 5s event? Like, I don't get it. Why, why would you do that? If you're just going to let us pick a, a free nat 5 of our choice. Like, if we known ahead of time, that would have been... That would have made a, a lot more sense. Ooh, they kept the sesh on the field. So, yeah. Like I said, probably won't OTK me, but... I probably won't be able to break their, their, their board next turn. Alright, come on. I also have to shuffle back. Okay, now? Brother! Oh my god. Seriously? Come on, dude. Like, this card is, is fucking useless right now. Now they make Appalooza, and I pretty much lose. <clears throat> Oh, 
I wouldn't be surprised if they have another Ash right now. Okay, cool. They don't. Good for me. Good for me, Bucko. Hmm. I have no way of... Oh, actually, you know what? We're going to... We're going to do this. We're going to grab the the equip, and we're going to ditch it. We're going to send it to the graveyard. We're going to search the ritual with Ritual Sank. We're going to ditch Preparation of Rites, since we already have all the materials. That'll grab us the ritual, and then we'll be able to pop a card by ritual summoning. So we're going to pop their Appalooza. Oh, never mind. We can't. Fucking IP Mascarina. Fuck you! Okay, well, I lost. That's game. I lost. I can't, I can't pop Appalooza. Oh my god, bro. Yeah, like this is game. Because, you know what? Hold on. They didn't summon Link Kribo. They don't have a Link Kribo. But, man, if this is Imperm or, or a Negate. Seriously, man, like, why do I keep drawing all these fucking hand traps, bro? Bro, the, this game is making fun of me, man. I, oh my god, dude. I can't do anything with this shit. Okay, at least we eat up a negate. Uh, what up, Pyro? So there's one negate. And they didn't summon Link Rebo. Oh yeah, we also keep the Nibiru. Okay, so... I'm not saying we're gonna win. But we can play. Like, at least I can play. So glad they hit every Snake Eyes version, except mine? What was your version? Don't tell me. Don't tell me Megalith. Um, yeah, we'll ash that. I don't think he'll negate this, though. It's because we have too many cards in our hand. Fuck you. Fuck you, buddy. Fuck you. It's just a battle of maxis, bro. Oh my god. So fucking annoying. This game is so messy, man. Because of this fucking card. Maxi just makes Yu-Gi-Oh so messy. So dirty. Dirty, dirty. Um, yeah, I think we'll mill. He's going to be drawing more cards. So let's see if we could potentially deck him out. He'll be down to 19 cards. Okay, so the play is Ritual Sanctuary. Bro, and I didn't draw a single spell card. The only spell card I drew was for my normal draw. So now we have no more spell cards after this. So now we're going to ditch Preparation of Rites, which I really don't want to. We're going to search the Ritual Spell the to summon Ohime. Come the fuck on, bro! We just we went neg two! Holy fuck, man! Brother! 
Oh my fucking god, man. Oh. Like, our draws off Maxi were so bad. Like, how, how do I fucking get this unlucky? Against the best deck. Like, get the fuck out of here. Couldn't draw a single fucking spell off Maxi. It's all fucking useless monsters. Okay. I need to bait his last negate. So we're going to make Anima. Fuck those dragons. So he draws another card. He, he, he still has Nibiru. I bet you. Can he even summon... Yeah, he's got a... Okay. So that didn't bait the Appaloosa negate. Uh, that like that's all we had. We don't have anything else. Thank God. It's a little too late though, because we had to ditch preparation of rights. Like, come on, man. We had to get rid of that shit. We needed that fucking card. All right, this will eat up the last negate. He has to. He's not. Okay, cool. <laughs> He's got a Nibiru. Okay, so there's the last negate. I I don't know why he negated that. <laughs> I, I don't know why out of... Uh, like, why did he choose to negate that one? Alright, so now we're unaffected by Nibiru. And he now he can't negate this. So I'm thinking maybe... Man. Banishing the princess... Cause Appaloosa is zero. Effect Veiler, I'm un I'm unaffected. Idiot. Uh. Okay, now we finally have our normal summon. But the thing is, I don't think I have targets for it. Wait, I do. I have one Sesh in my deck, and I have Trias still. He's down to 14 cards. Can he beat me? Well, I mean, he can still make Goddess. Thank God, we got okay. We got preparation back. Cool. I don't know if it might be too late. Let me let me see. We'll we'll see in a second. Uh, yes. We'll activate this now. His Appaloosa is zero. Uh, we could... Hold on. Uh, link three Allura monster in your graveyard. Special summon it. So he can special summon IP Mascarena. But he already used its effect. So I'm kind of okay with that. But then once we destroy IP, he can destroy one card in the field. Let's get rid of Flame Bridge. It won't activate its effect because he needs to. He needs to summon exactly two. He doesn't have room to summon exactly two, right? It doesn't say up to two. Yeah, it doesn't say up to two. We're gonna summon back this. He's down to twelve cards. We're gonna make another Chaos Angel. Now we're gonna banish Amphibious. Or do I actually want to do that? Because we get summon Ohime, inflict 3,000. Attack with Chaos Angel, inflict 35. That's 6,500 damage. We can only do 7,500 damage right now.
Man, it's tough. Tough decisions. I think Ice Valk, it's possible. I just don't have the cards. What's not better? Nibiru, I'm unaffected. Summon in the... Oh yeah, I already summoned Animo. For the health of the game, yes, it's better. For the health of the game, that card is a million times better. Wait, can I even get the Ritual card? Is it in my graveyard? It's not? It's in my deck. Shit. Okay. We're gonna set. Fuck, I can't Ritual Summon Ohime. I can't use a token? Fuck. Dude, I can't use a token. Man, that sucks. Okay, so if I made Muckcracker... If I made Muckcracker, I'd have to use both my Chaos Angels. Mu yeah, it's still that still wouldn't have been game. Subversion? Yeah, that does deal with my Chaos Angel. You said it's better in general? When did I say that? Change of Heart? Bro, what the fuck? Who the fuck plays Change of Heart, dude? Especially when you're playing Snake Eyes. What the fuck? Ditches Imperm. Oh my god! Just as better? Yeah. That's the whole point. It's called click clickbait, dude. Um fuck it, we'll just ash. I got 30 seconds. I, I don't have no I have no more time to think. Just activate. 10th anniversary summers where tell you we'd like to offer our heart for all appreciate you all summers so okay to enjoy summers for a decade. Here's a 10th anniversary prepared gift for you, uh, claim a gift. Where's the gift? I didn't get anything. It said claim gift, gift, and I didn't get shit. Free right here. Ten year scroll times five. Okay, what's the ten year scroll? What is it? What does the ten year scroll do? Uh, we'll wait till he activates Hida. And then we will Nibiru. And then do we win? What is this? Summon? 300 times? Uh, yeah. We'll let this resolve. Well, the Oak... Resolve and then hopefully he can't stop the Nibiru. He already has the field spell up too. Yeah, we have the Nibiru now. He's, he's gonna make Underworld Goddess. Wait, my oh my Chaos Angels is affected by my own effects. Cool. Oy, oy, oy. 
I'm th bro. I don't know how we're fucking still in this. Holy crap, dude. So one of my chaos angels are here and another over there. I need to summon Muckcracker. We have 6,000 light points. So there's still a, ch oh my fucking God. He's going to summon my chaos angel. Okay. Holy crap. He could have summoned my chaos angel and banished my Nibiru token. I mean my Nibiru. Okay. So this, did he already activate this, this turn? Cause if he didn't, he could put this in my back row. Fuck. All these snake eye decks make me puke. Gonna use uh, co money. Gonna sue co money for stomach poisoning. Yeah, those toxic bastards. He couldn't. Why not? Chaos Angel was uh, properly summoned. Okay. Well, can we finally? He's gonna make goddess. Fuck you! Oh my god, he activated Maxi every single fucking turn. He's gonna he's gonna underworld goddess. So how do I out the goddess protected by IP? Cause it wasn't synchro summoned. Oh yeah, that's right. Wait, but it still says for this card's synchro summon. For this card synchro summon, you can treat one light or dark monster uh, as a tuner. So I mean, it still counts as a synchro summon because it says in the card you can synchro summon this card by doing this. But maybe it. it still considered an effect is that why um okay so i need to bait out the goddess what target do i have in my deck do i have another ben 10 okay so we have to activate ohime first okay so now he's making goddess good because it said for it, it says for this card synchro summon so I assume it would that would mean properly, but it still kind of is an effect. Doesn't make goddess. He goes. Code talker. Uh. He went access code talker. To gain the attack. 4,000? He thinks I, I won't be able to attack over that? Um, He's got 4,000 life points. I summon Ohime and I win. He doesn't have Link Creepo in the grave. Bro, is this actually going to resolve? Am I actually going to summon Ohime and just win? That would be poetic justice. Poetic justice, dude. I could also attack the Nibiru token. Don't think it matters which one I attack. He doesn't have anything that... He doesn't have Link... This guy did not summon Link Rebo. No, but he can... Uh, oh, never mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. What am I waffling about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. Let's say I was attacking a level 1 target. Then, yeah. Okay. So, we ritual summon. And I win. We're going to pop the field spell. What's he summoning? There's too much shit going on. Ash. Ash don't search anything we're afraid of. Destroy a card. Get that field spout out of here. Take a thousand damage as well. I totally forgot about that. Take a thousand damage as well. Uh... I don't know, Diviner, I guess. I could normal summon Diviner and make sure my oh, he can't target my Ohime. Just in case he wants to activate some funny business. Oh, that was a misplay. I wasn't supposed to activate that. Okay, anyways, we just attack and win. actually won that no fucking way we actually won that dude
<laughs> no fucking way, dude! You lost two mounts! Best deck, haha, my asshole! Premium reward, 3,000. Man, I don't have 3,000 crystals. If I was playing every day, I would have 3,000 crystals. So what is this? Uh, free reward. Okay. Let me see what my scroll has. That's funny. Save that replay? I don't have room. <laughs> I gotta go delete a replay. What is this? 10-year inbox? New Nat 5 special summon? What is this? Damn. I need to look at all of this later. That's crazy, dude. That's crazy, buddy boy. Let's go look at his deck. Yeah, the replay redeems are only for subscribers. One change of heart, one monster reborn, and he's got the fucking Raigeki. I get hit by Raigeki once every stream. I'm glad I didn't get hit by it today. He plays two Imperm instead of, instead of three. He plays this trap. He also plays Birch. He plays the he plays the one copy of Birch. He does have Link Rebo. He plays two subversions. He plays two. Does he have played AFK Journey? I don't like AFK games. I'm not a I'm not a fan of AFK games. Like I I love auto battling, but AFK is different. I'm just I don't like those type I don't like those kinds of games. Yeah, okay. It makes sense why we won. He's not playing optimally. <clears throat> um The clip. Hold on. I got it. It's okay. I got it. <laughs> Bro, I can't believe we actually won that. No fucking way we actually won that, dude. Let it go, dude. <laughs> Let's go, dude! <laughs> the evil laugh. Bro, I can't believe we actually won that! No fucking way we actually won that, dude! <laughs> good times, good times. Good times. Okay, let's go look at my, my replays. Okay. I, for some reason, I don't have room for replays. So what are these replays I'm saving? Where do I go look? Like, why, why do I have all of these? Okay. If I save the replay. One. It's because it was either super intense like that one. Or I don't know. Let's, let's take a look at some more replays. Let's take a look at this one. This one lasted the longest. This was diamond. This was in diamond. Diamond. Diamond, was that diamond one? Ten, ten turns. Let's see, let's see this one. This was when I was playing the goaties, bro. Is this the runic player? Yeah, this is the fucking runic player, dude. Bro, I spent like an hour dueling this guy. I spent like a fucking hour, dude. And then we 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 clutched it, I think. I think with like zero cards in my deck. We won on the, the last turn. If I remember correctly. So we asked the field spell. Stop the draws. He's got hugging though. And one or two uh quick effects. We normal summon Ice Knight. Special summon the Tuna. We got Ash though. And then we went, uh, we just had to pass. We set the Imperm though. We better get Maxi Ben everywhere for this new, uh, new card. 
it, it, even if we do, it, it, it might be for uh, it might not be for a while. So we imperm the Huggin. He still gets to banish all that shit. And draw three. He's got the pot card. Just the tip. Oh yeah, he's he was playing this. Branded he was playing branded regain. Trickstar reincarnation banished my whole hand. Which I believe triggered my goatees. Yeah. <laughs> so random. There's some good things and bad things about the new retrain for Maxi. There's some things it does better, some things it doesn't. Like I don't I don't like how you can uh, get a draw off one normal summon. But then it, it also you only draw if you special summon from the hand. Which so it like doesn't it doesn't like do anything against some like decks that summon from the the deck. Okay, we pop, we destroy the hog in, attack for 26. We got the evenly match. I think we were like holding on it for a while. You can't use it going first. That's good. That is a that is a pro. You get you could also still potentially have a thick hand up to an extra additional 6 cards. So this guy was had like a uh, bestial engine. This guy had a bestial engine in his runic deck. Okay, let me let me fast forward this, because I'm pretty sure this is the duel where I had like zero cards on my deck and I won. Yeah, it, it is. A, it's a hundred million percent more balanced and healthier. Way, way, way healthier than Maxi. Maxi, no restrictions. No restrictions at all. And your your hand gets so big it looks like a fucking steering wheel. Resolved uh evenly match. He banished his uh, I think field spell. Leaf fish. Shuffling shit back and drawing. Setting the call by. What up, Zenny Bars? Oi. I got both my my bitch deals. He plays this guy, which is funny. I crashed so that I could send it from the field to the grave. I didn't care that he banished the, uh, the extra decks. He's at 29. He played... What is the, what does this card do again? Each player chooses one card from their deck, and then each player combines it with four additional random cards chosen from the deck. And the point is, you have five random cards, shuffle the deck. Okay, cool. Uh, sorry, Zanny, this switch private. That one right there—that's the—that's my tourney Discord uh, for when I like host tournaments. So he's drawing three again. I'm down to nine cards. Nine cards in my in my deck. It's it's okay, Max. Z didn't mean it. Fuck Maxi. So yeah. How much cards did I have in my deck? It wasn't zero. Okay, this wasn't the duel. But yeah. This shit this shit was epic, man, when it happened. Okay, this is a this is two turns. Why did I why did I say why did I save this one? Is it because uh I was salty? He was playing some cringe shit and I and I whooped him? This was uh, my bestial Valks. Cash Tira. With the Punk engine. Or Punk with the Cash Tira engine. Don't even know the difference at this point. Got my bestial out. My Mohammed. My, 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 Muhammad. my bestial Mohammed. He is going to banish it face down. But I believe the effect still st will still go through. How did that go? It was okay. Like it wasn't it wasn't dog shit, but like it just wasn't strong enough. 
it just couldn't really compete that well. It's super easy to make Chaos Angel because Beast Shields are level 6. Level 6 Darks. And then uh, I had my level 4 uh, Fairies, Light Fairies. So it was actually easier to make a Beast Shield, uh, a Chaos Angel with both of its effects. Rather than just the one effect that I when I always use Light Monsters. Chaos Ruler banned. This was a long time ago. And then he also got fucking tears, man. And Shadows. Okay, I think this is why I saved it. Because this guy threw all the, like, all these fucking engines in his, his tier deck. And I was like, fuck this guy. He And he's going first. Vampire. Look at this. Look at this, dude. Look at this, dude. Steals, steals my Diviner. Sends his Kel back. This is when th this shit wasn't banned. So, like, he, this guy threw everything in his deck, man. Literally everything. He was getting optimal plays. And then he makes Baron to floor. Did I even win? Did I even win this fucking duel, dude? Look at my head. It, it sucks. We got droplet, though. <laughs> what did I do? What did I... What did I could have... What could I have possibly top deck? It said I won? I don't know how. We're, we're gonna find out. Because <laughs> this was so long ago, I don't even remember. It definitely droplet. Dro droplet would definitely save us. And we also have small world. So that gives us our one card combo. No, no, no. I, I didn't droplet the entire field. I believe I only droplitted um, Baron and Draco Berserker. And then maybe Fenrir. So maybe like two or three. So I know Baron definitely is one of them. Maybe Okay, Rikalos, Baron, and probably the Tenny. Okay. I also searched that during the end phase. I had evenly match. Okay, but I didn't evenly match first. Because Baron was just going to negate. So I was like, let me hold it. Or maybe I get rid of it for a uh, droplet. I think maybe that's what I'm going to do. Get rid of it for droplet because we know this is like Sully. But it wouldn't, Sully doesn't do anything. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. Ditch the Lebellion. Oh, I, only, I only negated Baron. Okay. So I negated Baron to activate evenly match. And then I just went off evenly match. <laughs> That is the greatest replay of all time. This guy kept popping off. He kept, he kept going and going and going and going. Yo, dude. Oh, damn. Remind me never to delete that. 0042. You got cooked, bro. You got cooked. That, that was good times, dude. So do I have more like that? Let's see. This was two turns. Hold on. I got to make that one public. That's fucking hilarious. Yo, the guy was going off, man. He had all the best decks, dude. He got tears, cash Tira. He put some Shadals in there. Uh, what else did he put? He put something. He got was the Beast Shields. He put something. Oh my god, that was fucking hilarious, dude. <laughs> Just drop with the Baron and go into evenly. <laughs> oh, that felt that felt good, dude. Eat shit, Meta Scum. Yeah, I, yeah, you were probably there. Oh, I open up evenly again. Let's go. Okay, this is Sprite player. This was when Sprite was uh, wait, meta, best deck probably. Also, how was he even playing Chaos Angel with Kelbeck? Uh, didn't Chaos Angel come out of uh, come out after it was banned? Hmm, I don't know. I don't remember. So long ago. Oh, but that was that was good, man. I needed that. I needed that laugh. 
You know what? Every time I feel bad, I'm get, I think I'm just gonna watch that replay. Every time I get I get uh, tilted, we'll just come back and watch that replay over and over again. I might actually just bring some popcorn. Okay, so Elf with IP and uh, was that? It's the Monster Negate, right? Brings the jet. Jet searches uh, starter, and then what is the back row? Goes into what? Appaloosa? And then I pop the back row. He goes Duster? What is he? he is he probably Dark Roller? Oh, okay. He assumed I had Dark Roller no more. And then triple tax. I, do I steal the Appaloosa? What do I do? Yeah, I, I'm going to steal the Appaloosa. And then what? Maybe I just link it off or something. One for one. Butuna. So we're playing under Maxi. Uh, I guess I'm I'm going to OTK. OTK with the goaties? Can I do Can I do that? Can I OTK with the goaties? Search the move my boy Snoop Dogg. It's been a long time. I need to play the goaties again. Yeah, that's it. That's not. Get shit on, nerd. That's funny. I think I saved it because uh, this was when I think Sprite was the best deck. And it, I, it just pissed me off. Cool. Good times. Chaos Ruler was uh, still legal for a bit. Uh... No, no. Yeah, you did say. He said Chaos Angel. Resh said Chaos Angel. <clears throat> what other replays? Okay, whatever. That's 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 enough for the replays. Uh, who? Yeah, I think I think I'll save. Okay, I gotta find something to delete though. Uh, I think I'll just delete the one I just watched. Yeah, that one is is not nothing special. Okay, duel. Uh, is a standard uh, duh, 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 match history snake eye the shitty snake eye player. Uh, save replay. Cool. There. Oh, okay. Let's go. <sighs> we always win those flips, dog. Oh yeah. Oh, that's cold. That's real cold. <sighs> okay. Uh, if we get ashed, we lose. Okay, so now we no longer have Nibiru, though. <sighs> so we had, we had to ditch Nibiru to get our normal summon. Okay, but at least with this... We can play around Effect Veiler. We could play around Imperm. And Ash... If, he, if they Ash this, it doesn't do anything. Uh, the only thing that will hurt us is Gamma. <clears throat> yeah, just Gamma. Maxi also. Effect Veiler? Yeah, we dodged that shit. So now we just Quick Effect Tribute. So our effect resolves. And triggering the second effect. We are going to Maybe you should upload that replay rewatch to YouTube. That was fun react. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? I've been slacking on my YouTube videos, honestly. I need to I need to post more YouTube videos. Okay, we're we're activate we're sending from the deck to the graveyard. Uh we could send a Valk, but we're gonna send uh <clears throat> Herald of Arclight. Uh we will do Arc Light. No, no. Diviner, Chain Link 1. Arc Light, Chain Link 2. We don't want Diviner getting hit with anything. Ash myself? Don't mind if I do. Okay, cool. Uh, Ohime? Do I want Ohime? Yeah, I want Ohime. And then Diviner summon Sesh. Uh... Oh, actually, no. Okay, so normally we summon Sesh, but we're going to summon Egg because we have Sesh in our hand, which we could send to the graveyard <clears throat> with Ohime. So this will grab Ritual Sank. Yeah, this is way better. 
this is this is so good. I think we will have. Uh, we're gonna search the equip. Oh yeah, yeah. This this hand is gonna be really good. Uh, the only thing that would really hurt us is Nibiru. So we're gonna send this to the graveyard now. We could even ditch this with Ritual Sanctuary to grab Ben Ten, but there's no way to Ritual Summon, so. Let's do this first. Well, let's do the second effect first. Before activating such an effect. Now we can summon Arc Light. Uh, we could have. I must have missed that. I missed it, brother. Summon Sesh back from the grave. And he. Bro! That was gonna pop off, bro! Oh, bro, dude, this hat was disgusting, man. Whatever, we take those. A win is a win. But that was that was good. That was a really good hand. Make sure you summon Arc Light before Sesh Mill. Can I can I even summon it though? Would I have been able to summon Arc Light? Um, because Diviner. Oh no! But the, the re no no. But that means we would have to. If we go Arc Light, that means I couldn't summon Sash then, right? Because if we're summoning Arc Light, that means we're summoning a Diviner, which means if I'm summoning Diviner, I'm activating Ritual Sanctuary, right? Which means I can't bring back the Sash then from the graveyard, which was the only way we we summoned Sash. Oh wait, no, I'm summoning from No, no, I was summoning Sash from the deck. Okay, never mind, never mind, yeah. I was summoning Sesh from the deck. I wasn't summoning it off Ritual Sanctuary. So, yeah, okay, yeah, we could have, we could have, we could have done that, yeah, yeah. Which means, wait. So, that means to do that, I would need to go into the Valk plays, search Special Summon Drit instead of Sigrun, search Sigrun, equip the equip I had in my hand, and then ditch it. Because then I would have two spells in my grave right because i think i only had one yeah we only had one spell in our graveyard uh fuck dude why 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 every time i open up ash and maxi together my hand sucks oh dude like if we get ashed this this hand can't play through a single ash. Okay, good. Holy shit. Okay, we're fine. Our, now our end board isn't gonna be two dog shit. Um. Also. Do I grab the ritual or the equip? I think we're gonna grab the equip. We're gonna ditch Sesh, send her to the graveyard. Ritual sank. Reshuffle <clears throat> to so no 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 bo, 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 bo. dude 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 dude. We meant to activate the second. Oh my! This is okay. This is what I fucking hate about a card with multiple effects. Thank you for the follow, Bentley. Bentley underscore oh. just follow. Thank you for the follow, Bentley underscore. Welcome to the stream. I didn't want to activate the first effect. I needed this in my hand. Whatever. Fuck. I'm good. <sighs> I meant to activate this this effect. Now, my end board is going to be fucking dog shit. Oh my god. Can I even do it? Like, can I even make anything now? Holy fuck. I needed that in my hand. Like, now I have to get rid of Ritual Sanctuary. Man, I fucked up. <sighs> Chaos Angel Pass, we could... But I'm thinking... Ah, shit. Okay, does this have a graveyard effect? If a card leaves the extra deck, you can target one Fallen Abyss or one of in your graveyard. Special minute? Okay, good. 
That in the graveyard is okay. <sighs> oh my god, bro. I didn't... We needed this in our in our hand, fuck. Okay, if I link these two off for IP Mascarena, get rid of the field spell, summon Sigurun, bring back a monster, make elf. Next turn, elf brings back IP Mascarena. So then we have elf, IP, and one monster. We can, okay, we can at least make a goddess while we have Maxi and Ash in our hand. Okay, so that's the best I got. God damn it. Ugh. All right. So this is the new game plan. Hopefully, at least, at least, like we have an interruption. Bring back. It doesn't really matter which one we bring back. I activated both their effects already. Uh, we're gonna make elf, and then w we can only bring back IP on their turn after they summon. So now we just we just pass, unfortunately. Oh, I saw my normal summon though. Oh shit! We could have normal summoned Ash and made Herald of Arclight. So we we would have had Elf protecting my Herald of Arclight, and then bring back IP. Um, add a Chimera Fusion. That's pretty good. Chimera Fusion is a pretty good card. You could get Valk support right now. What would you want? Oh, bro, people ask me this all the time. <laughs> if it was just one card, we need a one card link where you could link summon it with a level four or lower Valk, where on link you could search a Valk continuous spell. And then that continuous spell would have to search another Valk. Or a field spell. Either or. Continuous spell or field spell. Either one is fine. Preferably continuous spell. Uh. Then I could pop off. My brick hands would just be unbricked. Uh, do, uh, I think we can Ash Chimera Fusion, right? Uh, Mirror Sword, I believe, is a negate. Uh, tribute Special Summon. Uh, when an opponent... When a monster your opponent controls activates its effect while you control Chimera, banish this card from the graveyard, negate. So this negates... Oh, it doesn't negate hand traps. Okay. It's only control. Doesn't negate the hand traps. Uh, he's going to tribute special summon, so we'll activate Maxi now. Oh, it's a quick effect! Oh, it's a quick effect! I didn't... Oh my god. I missed that part. I didn't know it was a quick effect. Uh, okay, we will bring back IP. What the? What the? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my God. No way, dude. <laughs> no way. Oh, my God, dude. No, not the Maxi. Now we have no interruptions. Oh, my God. I played myself! <laughs> Yo, I played myself, dude! <laughs> we're, we're fucked! We're cooked, bro! We're cooked! Oh, we're cooked! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. We have nothing! We have one Ash, that's it! Oh, he's probably gonna OTK me now! Oh my god! Actually, wait, we have two monsters in defense. So maybe not. No! Okay, we lost. That's game. I should just scoop right now. This was my, my this was my rank up game, dude. I would have. Okay. He, oh, he made that was that was still a good hit. Still a good hit. Wait, did he ditch that? No, he searched it. He searched Chimera Fusion. Jimmy Fusion, one of them using my hand or field, including Beast Fiend. Jimmy Fusion, this card in the graveyard. 
Add a card to your hand or bash this card, special summon, blah, blah, blah. Wait, he can do both in one turn? Yeah, he can. He can do both. He can do both in one turn. That's pretty good. That's really good. Holy fuck, dude. I, I always get in my own way, huh? I'm like my biggest... Oh, he's also going to ditch a card now from my hand. I am my, my, my own worst enemy, man. It's like, I know I'm doing good, so like I need to self-sabotage. Uh, when your opponent activates a card or effect that targets a card you control, negate. <clears throat> Battle phase? Did he forget? He can be destroyed by by battle. Uh, now he's dead. This for some reason, like some of the illusion monsters, they have they have this weird effect where if they battle, neither monster is destroyed, which is really funny. Like I don't know why some of those illusion monsters have that effect. Like it's so weird. Okay, um, so at least we have diviner, but like if it gets stopped, we pretty much lose. Matt, I really, bro, this, we could have, we could have easily won this. This is a horrible end board. I want to, I want to, I want to build the illusion deck. I think it's, I think it's pretty, pretty cool. Because we're, he's under maxi, so I guess because I had two monsters in defense, it isn't, it, is, it doesn't banish itself, right? Oh my fucking god, it banishes itself. Bro, it plays around Call by the Grave. Get the fuck out of here. Oh my god, dude. It banished itself and for cost. It doesn't hit the graveyard. And it's a cost. We're, we, we're fucked, dude. I, I think we pretty much lose. I really cucked myself here. Damn. <clears throat> Uh, this th this card does have a graveyard effect, so we could. Does this also banish itself for cost during your opponent's turn? Quick effect. Okay, it, it doesn't banish itself for cost. Man, Chimera Fusion is a quick play, quick play as well, right? Man, bro, this was such this was an easy dub, man. We'll call by this. Save Ash for Mirror Sword. This one. Main phase two. Okay, good. Wait, it does it does banish for cost. Oh my god. What's he targeting? Burfomet? Alright, I guess it's the only thing I got. <clears throat> so if he top decks it too. Or uses the one in the field, it will have no effect. Oh my god, bro, this this was such an easy win, man. No, do not continue battle phase. Damn, that sucks. And then he also <clears throat> sent my Ohime back to the deck. Mirror, Mirror Sword is a field tribute search. Yeah, that one that is the combo starter and extender. Adakai, uh, one. Okay, this is gonna this is gonna search the the mirror, <clears throat> the mirror dude, right? No, it went for Gazelle instead. Add a level five fiend monster or Chimera Fusion. <clears throat> um, I I think it's it's okay to ash this. Because he already wasted his normal summon. He can't special summon uh, this guy. But if he already has Chimera Fusion, though, I'm screwed. <clears throat> we just got to risk it for the biscuit. 
Risk it for the biscuit. Man, we're in a we're in a top deck situation, dude. Polly, wow, he had just, okay. We're fucked. This 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 was originally supposed to be called by, but it does banish for cost, so it's hard to. Uh, okay, one of these is negated. <sighs> Bro. He can't summon that. Uh, unless he has this. Reveal one future monster. And, uh, here's the Lobelian part. Albaz, it's over. We lost. Brother, 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 brother. How many misplays? First, we fucking <clears throat> we lost a draw off Maxi, and then we fucking fucked up with Elf. And then what? I fucked up somewhere else too. Come on, can I top deck? We really needed that. Magician Souls? No, that's game. We lost. We have no graveyard effects. Yeah, GG's, whatever. Oh my god, this was such an easy dub, bro. Yeah, that was the rank up game. Jesus fuck, bro. Oh yeah, and then I also act I activated uh, the wrong effect of Ritual Sanctuary, right? Was that this duel? Oi, oi, oi. What does Maxi do? Uh, are you joking? <laughs> um... Okay, if something gets ashed, we want this one to get ashed. Because if Ohime gets ashed, we have no ritual spell. Oh. It's like the best card in the game. Okay, so he didn't ash this. So essentially, every time your opponent plays monsters, you get to keep drawing. Like, an infinite amount of times. Okay, so there's no Ash, unless he was playing with his toggle. Discard the Sashed. Uh, we'll activate another pre-preparation of right. Oh, oh, hold on, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. We'll activate Illusion of Chaos. <clears throat> Maxi, maybe. There is a delay. Yeah, <laughs> it's looking like it might be banned pretty soon because the card in like my title is kind of like a new version, a more balanced version, not better, but it's like more balanced. Um, I do think he has maxi, so like we're kind of fucked. Um, we, what, we, what we're going to do, though, is we will summon Magician Souls. We're going to ditch the ritual spell. Because we have another preparation of rights to add it back to our hand. So we get a we essentially get a free draw. We thin our deck. Yeah, it's Maxi. Okay. And like the like Maxi is so strong. Like it forces you to like play different. Like right now he resolved it, so I'm kind of fucked. I could just stop playing because uh he, his hand is gonna get fucking huge. But if I stop playing, like, I'm fucked for next turn. So we're going to ditch this and draw one. Like, I don't know what to do. Confirm. And, like, I need to... Let's see. Two Ben 10s, two Ohimes. These aren't once per turn, which is disgusting. Yeah. Everyone, everyone is playing it. Like, you're just crazy not to. There's some I, decks that, like, are just, like, all gas. Where they want to, they want to, like, make a nasty board. And they just kind of hope you don't maxi them. 
Um, so he's going to draw one more card. I can't just pass on this because I'm, I'm going to get killed. He's, I'm going to get OTK'd. So I at least need to, you know, try to mount some sort of defense. So we're going to summon this as much as I don't want to. So now he's got another card. This will give me my Diviner. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to Normal Summon Diviner and pass. <clears throat> Cash Unicorn became all that better. With the... With the power synchros getting banned. Uh, Savage and uh, Baron. Uh, let's see. We're going to send this and we're just going to pass. Uh, cause like we could, we could continue playing, but we're under maxi. So like, this is why maxi is so good. It, like sometimes it forces you to like, to like stop playing. Like you'll, you'll cut your combo short, which e ends up you having a shittier board and then ha them having a bunch of cards in their hand because, and if I choose not to I continue playing their hand gets even bigger and bigger and bigger. And then you, you, you no matter what you're fucked. Okay, what did I eat today? I ate the rice, I ate chicken. Uh, I think I ate two fiber fiber gummies. Uh, did I Did I eat multivitamins? Uh, my toggles on. Okay, we're good. Call bite? Wow, 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 wow. Wait, what? What's he? Oh, he did it during the draw phase. Bro, this guy. Oh, bro, that was big brain. Oh, so now I have nothing. I, I lose. It's game. Like, I'm, I'm not coming back from that. Man, this is this is what I get for that last duel. Holy fuck, dude. I already put the fire. Oh, I put it in twice. The fuck? There we go. There's the delete button. Yeah, we kind of... We, we lose. This is game. It's over. I like how Z has enough faith in Konami that they will ban Maxi when we get uh, it's a retrain and not let us suffer with both of them uh, in the format. <laughs> that just wouldn't make any sense. <laughs> like, it's so weird. Why would you have both of them? Two Maxis running around, one for normal summons, and then one for special summons. Like, that's crazy. Oh. <sighs> Well, it is Konami we're talking about. Oh, brother, man. Uh, and like the thing with Maxi is, um, like sometimes you like you'll be playing a deck that can't beat you, but because they activated Maxi, now they could beat you. Like there's a there's an incredible, like balance of power with that card. Oh, Donovan, you just saw the ban the TCG ban list now? Ban summon limit already? Oh, you mean in Master Duel? Uh, these lab nerds are getting uh, on my very last nerve. They opened both welcomes. You may as well just uh, hit the surrender button. Yeah, I, I hate Labyrinth so much. <sighs> summon limit should definitely get banned or put the one in Master Duel. Uh, I, prefer I preferably hope that it, it does get banned. Like, that card is fucking stupid. Uh, it just got banned in TCG. Like, I come. There's so many cards. There's so many cards in this game that need to be banned, and Konami is just not doing shit.
Like, man, we got hit with Max E and Call By. So anything after Max E is just holy shit. Just fuck it. It's so bad. You get Max E, everything else is 10 times worse. God, my back. Oh. We still have Ohime. Let's hope they forget about her. Princess, uh, Princess will pop Ohime potentially. Um, but not till our turn. Until we summon. Maxi better. <clears throat> in terms of power, yeah, a hundred percent. But in terms of uh, balance and health for the game, that new card is better. Like if that new card existed, other than Maxi, way better for Yu-Gi-Oh. My le least favorite thing about Lab is how it uh, gatekeeps other trap theme decks. Like it's so damn stupid. You want to play Paleo? Well, too bad. Lab counters it. Elich countered. Uh, trap Tricks countered. Trap Tricks actually ain't too bad. Like I think Trap Tricks is pretty good. I never thought grown men uh, hate or uh, would hate or be scared of an insect. Bro, have you seen spiders? I know they're not classically, they're not identified as insects. What are they, arachnids? Is that different from an insect? But spiders are fucking scary, man. Bro, like, see, look at his end board. Look at the, look at his end board. Like, that's, that's nothing. And he still got, what, two draws off Max E. Like, bro. Like, man, we this is this is totally winnable. We didn't even get OTK'd. And just because it's just because of Max E. That like I had to stop my turn short. Like I had to stop playing because they activated Max E. Oh my fucking god. And then I draw it at the worst possible time. But. We're not quite. Dead yet. Okay. Toggle on battle phase. Declared battle. Wait, is it Omni Negate? When opponent wants to declares an attack, you can switch on this card from your hand, and if you do negate the attack, and then banish one monster on the field to the end phase. Ah, shit. Okay, maybe I can eat up the Omni Negate if I max see this now. No. I just get one draw. The stream started at 9. I wasn't even awake. No. um, No, I started it at uh, like 11 o'clock around that time. Uh, my time. I don't know. I don't know what 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 your time is right now, bro. I thought this was 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 an Omni negate. We have the equip card in the grave. I'm two to three hours ahead. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, equipped. It. You can add one for your hand. Then destroy this card. Can he, I don't think, can he out my Ohime? He's lucky my hand is dog shit. I only play one Kagura. Like, I really want to play two. Because we could have potentially searched one. We'd have to ditch the Maxi though.
Oh my god. And the stupid thing with Maxi is you draw it the next turn and it's like you don't get you you don't get full use out of it. It's kind of almost someone told one battling boxers person in it. Like man, I drew Maxi way too late. I could have used it in my fucking hand instead of just drawing it now earlier. Bro, man, we're just getting unlucky now. Point it activates a monster effect. Just roll one battling box or an emergency. Negate it. You can swap out Maxi for Pit and Droplet and another copy of Kagura. <clears throat> yeah, but Maxi's just way too good. Like, there's nothing we can do about when we draw it. We just gotta hope we open it. That's it. And hopefully not n not more than one. Once per chain, during a uh, battle step, if you're battling boxer battles a monster, you can dash to negate that. Oh, fuck. Are there any upcoming decks you're excited to see? To see you, Bell, Ashen, Tempe, White Woods, uh, just the White Woods. Tempe can go to hell. Everyone's gonna hate that deck. Every normal person is gonna hate that deck, and then all these like sweaty scumbag YCS tr fucking tryhards are gonna fucking love that deck. Tempe best deck. Tempe best deck. Maybe Ashen because uh so from what I've seen Ashen like isn't like busted. The new U Bell support is cool. I'm liking the White Woods cards. Tempe though, Tempe could go to fucking hell and could die. They could die and and they can't come back with the Dragon Balls. But it's still looking like the best deck. Three level fives. Gain turn for each material. Once per turn, your opponent would summon. Detach two, negate. If attack is declared involving another battling boxer, send one battling boxer. Attach that opponent's monster's material. I pretty much lose. The end of the main phase. During the battle step. Okay, I think I need to activate this now. What did I come back to? Some bullshit. Wait, what? Wait, how come the my my at the end of the damage step? Why didn't my equip card activate at the end of the damage step? If your Mikonko monster battled, it was negated because it negates monster effects. It doesn't negate spell and traps. Uh, you can attach material and negate the effects of that opponent's monster while it's face up. That monster. Cannot be destroyed by that battle. Also, your opponent takes any battle damage. Yeah, like, how did... Because it got sent to the graveyard? How did it get sent to the graveyard, though? So, it needs to stay up on the field? So, my, my Mikonko card needs to, like, not die? So, at the end of the damage step... Isn't just calculation? I thought it was... I thought at the end of the damage step just means, like, after, like, battle damage is dealt. Okay, so because Ohime wasn't face up on the field, it it didn't trigger. Yeah, so we lost to Max C. We did not lose to Battling Boxer, dude. We we lost to fucking Max C, bro.
Oh my fucking god, dude. And I open up two. At least we're going second. Like, why? Why do I always? Why does this always happen to me? Okay, good. They saw we had two. That was weird. It's okay. That was Konami giving us our win back because we lost to Maxi. Going second again. Double Ash this time? Bro, what is up with the shuffling, man? First double vaccine, now double Ash. What the fuck, dude? This hand sucks. This hand is gar Baggio, my dude. Oh yo yo. Will will we be able to use an ash on our own turn? I think so. Okay, so they got the negate. They're going to bring this back. Oh, interesting. They bricked, kinda. They have three in the back row, so I have no idea what that is. What's all that about? What's going on over there? Impermanent call by. Oh, he may. We're going to have to ditch one Ash. A call by the grave is is gonna hurt a lot. <sighs> oh, foolish burial back to my deck. Test into Drit. Grab Sigrun. He's still not activating anything. We'll go IP. Okay. We'll we'll make we'll make elf. And we'll, we'll force him to activate Imperm. Because Imperm is going to hurt a uh, big time. Summon Sigrun. Sigrun brings back Seshed. So now we can make Elf or Chaos Angel. Elf can bring back IP Masquerina right now. I'm back with food to complete my magazine. 
Nibiru. Um, damn. And he had a Nibiru in his hand. So everything I just did didn't fucking matter. We can make our token stronger, I guess. If Maxi wasn't legal, we would have more decks that could win against Maxi. Oi, oi, oi. Sixty-nine hundred. Fuck yeah. So this comes back and now he's going to search again. That's the negates. Alright, so now we ritual. And we played in the Imperm column. Jesus fuck. If this is if that was Imperm, holy shit, dude. Tribute. Search Diviner. We could also search egg, but there's not really anything to summon from the graveyard because we already summoned. Wait, we already activated Ritual Sanctuary. Uh, so yeah, Diviner. Normal Diviner. Okay, so it's not an Imperm. Send the Trias. There's a big delay. Call by the grave, maybe. Imperm. I don't know what idea this guy's up to. I wish I had a way to get into my my equip spell. Okay, now he's thinking about using something. No idea what it is. Elf is in the graveyard, and we have no way to get of getting it back. Cross out. I have no idea, man. All right, so we could tribute Ohime and get a pop. <sighs> yeah, I will. I'll tribute both. So we, we get a pop. Uh, defense. So there's a guaranteed pop. Let's get rid of this. Dogmatica Punishment. Interesting. Dogmatica Punishment. What what was this? Well, it looks like we chose we chose the correct the we we got the right choice. What the fuck, dude? You've got to be fucking kidding me. This guy threw Bestial, Labyrinth, Snake Eye. No, not even Snake Eye. Just the the witch. Okay, so this is more This is this isn't even Snake Eye. This is more Labyrinth. This is a Labyrinth deck. This is Labyrinth mixed in with a bunch of bullshit. Jesus Christ, dude. Power Stingstone. 
Each time a monster effect is activated, uh, put a counter on this card. When this card has two counters, neither player can activate the effects of mon uh, face up monsters in the field. Also, the effects of face up monsters in the field are negated. Once per turn during the end phase, if this card has any spell soul encounters, remove them. That's actually not too bad. It's just a little slow. He's playing CC card with one evenly match. I guess he can I guess he could technically search it, right? So interesting. Alright, let's try not to fuck up this rank up this time. We're both on a rank up. Bro, Trimid, Trimid and Duel Links was so annoying to go up against. I hated, I hated that deck. That deck countered my Valk so hard. Ah, shit. Bro, we drew Small World and Nib. Like, bro, come on, man. You, you gotta be shitting me. I don't even know what this search is. Like, I don't even know what I can search with this. Because Nibiru is the bridge. Alright, well, if if any if any of these get hit, I'm in uh, big trouble. Amazonis? I, I like the Amazonis. Trimet actually got their continuous spell in Duel Links not too long ago. Which one is that? I haven't played that in so long. Uh, we'll get that. Sucks we have to discard the... Thank you for the YouTube follow. Raz, appreciate it. Oh! Droll! Damn. That's crazy. That shit hurted. That just, just killed my entire turn. That's crazy, bro. Oh, no, dude. No, not like this, dude. Not the plants, dude. I don't know when to nib. I don't know when to nib against plants. Oh, shit, it's generator. Are they, are they even going to summon five? They might end on four, right? It's generators. Okay, so at least we're not getting OTK'd. I believe so. I don't think they can OTK. Yeah, they can't. So there's a chance. But they are gonna they are gonna get a negate though. They're gonna summon the level four. Which is gonna turn into a negate. Ooh, we got an Ash. Thank God. Holy crap, dude. That was lucky as shit. <laughs> Holy crap, man. Holy shit. Yo. Did you watch the fall uh watch Fallout? Did you watch the Fallout? How your loneliness? Uh what? Thank you, Div Guy. Are you asking me if I watched the Fallout TV series? Alright, but we gotta ditch the uh, Sigron, unfortunately. Alright, you know what? Nibiru is dead. Nibiru is actually kind of useless against generators. Droll again? Brother! Okay, well not anymore! Now I need, it. Now I need the Nibiru! You gotta be fucking kidding me! <laughs> I can't even add anything! Bro, so if I tribute Benton, I can't get anything.
I'll have Ohime. Can he out the Ohime? What up, Digi Uh, we went over that today. Um, I don't like Link Kribo being banned because of uh stupid decks like Snake Eyes abusing it. Baron, Omni Negate. It's I I have no feelings whatsoever. I don't mind Baron, but I understand why people w would want it banned. So it's okay that they banned it. I don't care if they did or didn't. Bortle Savage. I don't think deserved to get hit. Uh, Bolo Savage is like not even that good. It's just it's just one negate. And you can't get a negate without Link like making Link's first. Okay. We risk actually dying next turn. Fucking annoying, bro. Like how how do we get this unlucky, bro? Like it, always the rank ups, dude. Fuck this shit. I can't risk it. I need to have something on my field. Do I tribute the Ben Ten though? Yeah, it will tribute it. We won't get its effect though, which is fucking stupid. No, we got drolled. That's why I'm trip I'm tripping out. We got drooled for the second time. I hope they don't make Levy. If they make Levy, we're in big trouble. I mean, that ban list was just a way to hit hit Snake Eyes without actually hitting Snake Eyes. That that's it. So you guys still the best deck, and now countless rogue, countless rogue decks lost access to their Omni Negates. It's just Konami protecting their bottom line, like they always do. Uh, like no one should be surprised. Konami, Konami doesn't do things for the health of the game. Never, they never do that shit. The only reason why they came out with this new Maxi retrain, it's so they can fucking sell it. That's all they care about. They just care about money. They just want to sell you more shit all the time. They just want to keep selling you. They want to sell you shit by banning old shit so they can make new versions of the old shit. Did he just end his turn? Thank God. Cool. This is a weird duel. I'm playing Mikonko because all the meta slaves using Snake Eyes in the last bastard drew every single uh, hand drive in the game. <laughs> It'd be like that all the time, man. Oh, we're in big trouble now, though. We're in big trouble. Yeah, but they could they could have hit Snake Eyes the same way they hit Sprite before Sprite hit the game. They did it to a couple of decks as well. Uh, like like Master Duel hit Sprite before Sprite hit the game. Uh, what other what other deck they hit uh, uh, tier elements? Konami hit tier elements before tier elements dropped in Master Duel. Everything Konami does is uh, money driven. I hate this company. The game has uh, so much potential to be better, but they won't commit to those things because they want easy money. Yeah, because uh, because Konami is literally uh it they're it's a gambling. They're they're like a slot machine company. They 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 work on, like with gambling. So that's literally. Everything they do is to like draw as much money out of someone as possible. Shit. They still have their negate. Ditch the Sigron. Activate Magician Souls. What is that face down? 
they did play in the Anima Zone, but they they're gonna negate. Is it negate and destroy? Yes. Okay, so it's destroyed. All right, but if he doesn't have a way to deal with, oh, you know what? He does. Next turn, he he'll deal with the Ohime, and we might actually lose. Yeah, but next turn he makes the rank nine. Oh my! Yeah, that's we lost. Socks, man. We have no Valks in the graveyard. We have we don't have Sesh in the graveyard. That fucking bro, double droll. I can't play. First it's Maxi, now it's droll. Back to back. Fuck, we just can't we just can't catch a break, dude. One droll was already bad. And then we got hit with fucking two. Like, we're so unlucky. But, the as far as I know, the only way they can out this is the rank nine. Let's just hope they're fucking stupid. And of course, it's got... It's, bro, and the thing is, we're playing a deck we can beat easy. No problem. There's the rank nine. We lost this game. We can beat this deck easy. We just got hit with fucking double droll. Like, come on, man. So now he's going to steal my monster. He's going to attack with with game, essentially. It's, it's game. Yeah, but man, we just can't catch a fucking break, dude. We just, we didn't fucking, we didn't open up uh, our only two call buys, which are the only cards that could fucking stop that. Like, how the fuck you open up the two drolls? How about Eldritch with Valkyrie? It's possible. I mean, I actually did do it. <laughs> I did it. I did it the, uh, when Master's Duel dropped, uh, like, what, two, three years ago? Uh, I think I, I might have dismantled a couple Eldritch cards, though. We're going second, and of course we don't have uh, our Maxi going second. Of course we don't. One Ash. Um, we got Sanctuary. We got Small World, but we have to banish Trias or Ohime. I don't like this hand. He Why is he setting one? Why did he set that? What is that? Is he gonna get rid of that one for something? Okay, cool. He just um, he bricked. Good. But the thing with <laughs> the thing with breaking is like they probably brick because they have a bunch of hand traps in their hand. So like, it's not always a good thing that our opponent bricks. Nice. That was a good. That was a really good draw. Okay, what do I activate first? Th this is really tricky, because if I activate Ohime first, I have to ditch Trias, which means Small World is dead. But I could ditch Small World for Ritual Sanctuary. But I already have my targets for Ritual Sanctuary, so it's it's kind of weird. Okay, nothing. Should I grab the Equip card? Because I could still... Yeah, you know what? We're going to grab the Equip card. We're actually... Yeah, we're still going to... Okay, the only problem, I 
The only problem, we're going up against Bestial. So if I send this to the grave, they're going to banish it. So I should keep this in my hand. We want the Mikanko dance in the grave. They can't, they can't do anything with that. I was going to discard it for Ritual Sanctuary. But I just remembered they're playing Bestial. So they're going to banish Trias as soon as it hits the graveyard. So now we're going to ditch the spell. We're going to ditch Small World. We're going to grab the Mikonko Ritual spell. So now we could pop that face down card. And inflict the thousand. So now we, we, have that, we have the equip card in the grave. Now we Ritual Summon. Tributing Benten, which gives us Diviner. Now we could dodge a, a bunch of shit. This is like the most optimal. Most optimal play right here. It's not quick effect unless you have a monster. Uh, yeah, but by the time I do my plays, I will. So they're, they're going to banish it. All right, so now we get a guaranteed pop. They can't, they can't activate anything. Super poly. Okay, that was good. That was a really good hit. Now, hopefully they banish the Ben 10. Because, okay, good. Holy shit. Okay, good. We played perfect. This was the perfect outcome. Because now, uh, Chaos Space. Chaos Space is live now. If we get Chaos Space in the grave, we could return Benton to the, the deck and draw a card. Now we search Diviner. Hopefully, they don't have Saranir. Now we could just play. We could actually extend a lot with this hand. We just got to hope he doesn't have Nibiru. Uh, we already have Trias, so we're going to mill. We could we could mill Nitesse and Pop. We could mill Arclight Search, or we could mill a Valk to uh, extend. Because we still have Ritual Sanctuary. So we could even mill an Egg to search another Ritual Sanctuary. And potentially get Arclight. I think we're going to go Drit, though. I think we're going to go Drit in the graveyard. Um, I could also tribute Ohime. Because we could bring it back from the graveyard. Yeah. We're going to actually tribute both. Because now we get another pop. We're going to pop Muhammad. Bye, Muhammad! We can bring back Ohimi from the graveyard with the equip. So it, it ain't no biggie. Uh, Seshed. Sigran. Bring back the Drit I just milled. It's going to search our last Sigran. Uh, I normal summoned. Uh, wait, I could just go double Chaos Angel right now for game. Yeah, I think I'm just going to do that. I think I'm just going to go double Chaos Angel for game. Because Chaos Angel also, since we banished his monster, made my uh, Drit stronger too. Yeah. Easy peasy, bro. Easy peasy. Exactly 7k. And then we still had we still had a Drit that got stronger for every opponent's banished monster. Okay, cool. So we're in Diamond. Finally! We're finally in fucking Diamond. Oh, holy shit. That was it! I thought that was a rank up! No! I thought that was a rank. <laughs> Bro, I thought that...
That was the, supposed to be the rank up! <laughs> that was supposed to be the rank up! What the fuck? Oh yeah, the gener- No, no, no. The generator. I got it- I got it confused with the generator game. That was the rank up. I'm using Valks. I'm using Valkyries with, um, a, a very tiny Mikonko engine. Oh no, this hand sucks. Oh no, 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 this hand is really bad. We have to, we have to get really lucky. This hand is dog shit. Bro, I thought I could finally take a break. I gotta win this one. This is not not looking good. It is not looking good. My hand is so dog shit. I'm thinking of actually ditching Call by the Grave. Because I need to like draw two cards. Yeah, no, no, no. We're not too sure about that just yet. He might have something. Uh, if it is Mikanko, then he's gonna have Kaijus. Maybe. There was a little delay. Mikanko plus Sky Strikers? Uh, doesn't work. <laughs> that doesn't work. How does that work? So you'd have to do you'd have to do your Sky Striker plays first. And then do the Mikanko plays. But then Sky Striker also going first, you have like Don't you have like end phase plays? Wait, actually, but you're not activating spells during end phase. Maybe. Okay, we're ditching this for sure. Do I ditch my call by? Like, I think I do because my hand sucks. Like, we don't have anything. We have to draw two. Don't ash me, please. If he ashes me. Okay. And we still didn't draw shit. Oh my god, bro. We didn't draw, do we didn't draw anything, man. Straight dog shit. Straight doo-doo, bro. We just passed. Bro, out of all these duels we played, out of all these duels we played, this was the worst the worst hand we had. And it, of course it has to be the rank up. Literally the worst. Look at what we ended on. We ended on better boards when we get max seed. Why is he why is he debating? What is the guy doing? Is he playing Numerons? Bestial, there goes my fucking triass. We can't even bring that back with Chaos Space. Chaos Space can only, can only I think, bounce back uh, monsters that can't be normal summoned or set. Yeah. Triass can be normal summoned, so we can't recover it. So that, that hurts us big time, man. Like, huge time. And now we're in, we're in a top deck situation next turn, so like we lose to one Ash. Oh my God, you got to be kidding me, bro! Adds back, <laughs> yo, Birdman, yo, Birdman is such a good card. I love it. I love Birdman. Birdman's dope. I remember when this card used to be, like, at 1. This card used to be at 1, man. Wait, Beast Jewels aren't once per turn? Yo! Beast Jewels are not once per turn. Yo, whoa, 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 dude. What the fuck? How is that not once per turn? He just summoned it twice. The second effects are once per turn, but not the special summoning effect. Lava Golem? Is this Mikanko? No. Beast, he's got danger. Oh, he did it during my end phase? Oh, never mind. I thought he did. Okay, never mind. Yeah, yeah. My bad. 
Really wish they added solo test hands so you can try different lines. <sighs> kind of like a like a lab, right? I've been saying that for years. There needs to be some sort of like uh, custom custom game mode with custom rules for like dual rooms, where you could also like test combos too. Call it the lab, bro. Like an actual laboratory. Jesus fuck, that's game. That's game, dude. We got cucked during the rank up again. This happens. This happens so much times. So much times. Whenever, whenever we're fighting for rank ups, it's always the most difficult duels, or like we just brick. We would have been there by now if I didn't fucking misplay. Cuck myself three times in one duel. Holy shit, dude. Like, if it's not the opponent, it's just me. Like, getting up in my own fucking way. Holy shit. What did I brick on? We opened up with... Oh, I played two. I played two Trias. Okay. We opened up Trias. One Ben 10. One Chaos Space. Sigrun, which we only play two of... And I believe Small World. My end board is this. Plus an elf protecting it. With an IP on the field. And then like one Valk. And then uh, Ohime. Oh yeah. With Diviner Engrave. With Diviner Engrave. Which is going to be special summoned by Elf. Which would turn into a pop. And then... If we activate this guy, he sends Trias to the graveyard, which turns into another pop. So that's two pops. Um, I wouldn't go as far to say God Hand, but it's also not... Is it... Well, I mean, if we're not getting hit by hand traps, sure, yeah, I can do it a lot of times. And if I added the Mikonko cards, I can extend, I can get an extra interruption in, but then it just makes my deck more bricky. I'm thinking of getting rid of Small World. Like, Smart World is so good, but... It's it's only on the condition I don't op I don't brick on Nibiru. It's kind of like Magician Souls being good if I don't brick on Chaos. Like, like there's so many times where, like, I'll have this and, like, Cha uh, Illusion of Chaos and Magician Souls together. And then fucking Small World and Nibiru together. And I just, I don't want to keep running into these situations. So I either ditch the nib or small world. If I ditch small world, I need to replace it with another spell card. Maybe maybe one for one is actually useful now. It wasn't that good in my other build because I played too many spell cards. But now this has more monsters. So I think one for one is actually okay. I think it's worth testing again. It also gets me into my sesh from the hand or deck. So if we, if we draw a sesh, it's at least not a total brick. Why do you play Illusion of Chaos? Um, we need a Dark Monster to discard for Chaos Space. Which searches Ohime and Benten. Which gives us Diviner. 
Because Ohime searches its own ritual spell to tribute for Diviner. And then we also have three preparations to search souls as well. So we have eight ways. No, nine, because we also have ritual sanctuary. Discard a spell to search any light ritual or a ritual spell. So they all search each other. So we have three, six, eight, eight ways to search the ritual cards. And then nine ways to kind of get into the, the ritual summon method. You're hoping to open two two ofs. Uh, we only need one, and then we need it. We just need to find a way to to, to search into the other part, and because I have so many ways to search into the other part, it's it's pretty consistent. Because all I gotta do is just open either one Benten or one Ohime, and then I just gotta search one piece. That's it. I just gotta search one card. Because Ritual Sanctuary is also searchable with Egg. Which, all of this doesn't matter if, if I open Diviner because Diviner can get me Ritual Sanctuary. But all of that is just to get Diviner. So all those cards that I just l listed gets me Diviner. So we're also playing three Diviners. So it's actually... Not too bad. It's it's. I would say it, it is pretty consistent. It's the it's the hand traps that are killing me. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and then the egg and diviner. But the whole reason you play illusion of chaos is to pitch it with uh, chaos space. No, uh, it's just the it's just the only target I have for chaos space. But it also unbricks my hand. It lets me send my my spells and traps to the graveyard to draw. So it could it could unbrick like duplicates I draw. And it helps me recycle my spells too. So I could discard, draw, to unbrick my hand, and then recycle the cards I discarded. <laughs> okay, so we put one for one. If you were here, Godzilla, you wouldn't be asking me all these questions. I need to make some YouTube videos of my combos because there's some nasty boards. Some nasty boards this deck can make. How's Foolish Barrel helping you? What card triggers in the grave? Trias. Sending Trias to the grave. Any Valk. Except Sigrun. We don't mill Sigrun. So we can mill Drit. We can mill... Seshed. We could even mill a Diviner or an Egg. Because in conjunction with Ritual Sanctuary, we could bring back any Fairy from the Grave. Triple Tactics. Triple Tactics. You will see. You will see the vision, Godzilla. Every time I come back and fix my deck, all I'm thinking about is how do I make it more consistent? How do I make it more consistent? Like, the deck is pretty much finished when it, like, when it comes to, like, what it does. But I'm just constantly working on how can I get this more consistent? Obviously, ditching all the hand traps makes it so consistent. But we just auto lose. We auto lose to Maxi, and th that's literally the only reason. The only reason why I'm playing all this dog shit. The only reason why I have call by. The only reason why I have cross out. The only reason why I have Ash. Is because of Maxi. The only reason why I have Maxi is because of Maxi for the cross out target. Like it's so fucking stupid. Literally, all of these interruptions. It's just because of this. Because I just I just lose. If they activate it. And then Nib is for my own maxi. 
Because if I resolve max C, and I don't it, it doesn't matter if I don't have a nib because I can't do anything unless it's turn one. If it's not turn one, I need nib. Because if, if you do resolve your max C and it's it, and you're not going. F uh, If you're going second, right? If you're going second, you resolve your, your max E, you get OTK'd if you don't have nib. Okay, triple tactics though. Um, what about the Herald Hand Trap? It's just going to make my deck bricky. Plus, uh, it, it's at one, right? I mean, wait, I guess I could play one, right? Or am I thinking Eva? Yeah, it is that one. Like I did consider this before, but remember, the only reason, the only reason why I didn't play it is because a ritual sanctuary right we need lots of spell cards so like we either play lots of spells or we play lots of monsters so this is not always going to get its intended value which will turn into a brick but i'm thinking because i cut down on the spells but it also needs a fairy you need a fairy No, you we can't. Ritual Sanctuary is so important. It's so important. We need Ritual Sanctuary. Like it's a must. This deck just will not this deck is just not the same without it. But I am I am considering orange. Because it negates monster effects anywhere. Hand field graveyard banished. Like, do I get rid of one ash for it? Yeah, we have to. Get rid of ash, put in one orange. Or get rid of one maxi. Play Maxi at two. Because we, we 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 open up multiple Maxis all the time. If I don't open Maxi, it's not a problem as long as I don't brick. Like, I don't care about opening Maxi as long as I don't brick. You have eight ways to search rituals, and the spells you're recycling off of it are just searchers that you would have already used up, right? You have eight ways to search rituals, and the spells you're recycling off of it are just searchers. But recycling isn't the most important part. Like, when I'm recycling, that means I'm special summoning fairies from the grave. So, the, the recycling is just the fuel to summon fairies from the graveyard. Which, like, just extend to make bigger boards. So, it's, like, not just the recycling. Yeah, we'll do two maxi. Two maxi, two ash. I like I like two ash. But the only problem you gotta think about it this way. The only reason why I'm playing it is because of maxi. That's literally the only reason. I'm not playing it because it's ash. I'm not playing because it's a good hand trap. I'm playing it because of maxi. Like, I need to stop Maxi. So, unfortunately, I'm forced to play it at 3. Because it, it defeats the whole purpose if I don't play it at 3. Like, I literally changed my whole deck around to revolve around Maxi. And if I don't maximize on Ash, I'm... I'm, I'm not yelling at you. I'm just explaining. <laughs> I was also thinking Fable the uh, Cerberel again since we added more discard. 
I don't think I don't think that card is good, honestly. Like I think it's just um, I think honestly I think it's a brick. Okay, I'm still thinking. Sorry, elite. I'm just I'm just getting I'm just getting riled up because this game pisses me off. Um, I'm still thinking triple tactics. I don't know what I could take out for triple tactics. Hmm. Okay. If I take out the Magician Souls engine, that means I could take out the Chaos Space. So that gives me four cards. That gives me room for four more cards. I could triple up on the Ben 10. That gives me room for three more. I could add back Tutu Bond. Maybe two of them, one, one or two. But this is a searcher though. But it's only good if I open up a dark monster. If I don't open up a dark monster with it, it gives me the magician soul engine. So if I don't open this with a with one of these, it gives me these guys. Ben 10 is a brick, isn't it? How are you going to consistently trade it off? Right here. I tested this card. I was testing this card. And I actually didn't hate it. Like, it actually didn't fuck me up. But it's th that's the only problem. It's not. If I add Small World back in... If I put Small World back in, I think it's it's searchable. Which actually, yeah, let me do that. Let me play that one. Let me play that one and we do this. Um, Maxi. <laughs> <laughs> Banish Maxi Cause they're earth So I'd, I'd have to banish Hold on I'd have to banish I could either banish Herald Or Cyber Angel Egg Or a, a Diviner that's like dead in my hand If I've already played one Diviner Hmm, maybe maybe it's not worth searching. I think a cutting two two in Ben Ten might be the way. Don't say that. Don't say cutting Ben Ten. Yeah, but you forget there's so many ways. You forget that there's so many ways to search Ohime. Which like itself searches the card you tribute for Ben Ten. So it's like a two for one. Because it's they're exactly level six. Level six, level six. This card searches its own ritual spell. So it's like it's so easy to tribute Ben 10. It's so easy. Like I actually like I said, I actually tested this and it, it like wasn't bad. Is that once per turn? Uh Ben 10's not once per turn, but which card were you asking about? Uh also this card is also not once per turn. So that's actually disgusting. If I could pull multiples of those off. Ben 10 and 2-2, two, two, they're both not once per turn. Which is pretty crazy. Let's see this. Alright. 
I, I keep changing this deck so much times. So much times. I'm... I don't know how well two 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 bonds are gonna do, but it's okay. It's worth experimenting. But now that I added those, like I don't think I need the Herald card anymore, to be honest. Like if we do end up breaking, I would see two two and Herald in my hand and be like, ah shit. Uh, this hand is uh, we're going second. Okay, fuck, whatever. If I was going first, this would be crazy. Um. But the Nibiru, we do have for second. Draco face off. Interesting. Is he getting ready for Kieran? Does he think Kieran's going to come to one the Master Duel? Reveal Draco Pendulum Monster and one Draco Overlord Pendulum Monster for your deck. Your opponent chooses a, uh, to pick one for you for them to place in your Pendulum Zone and then special them in the other. This card's at one, right? Oh, this card's at three. This card used to be at one. I literally can't beat Snake Guy. The deck's overtuned to hell. All their cards uh, yo-yo themselves. Yeah, you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to throw in hand traps specifically to target it. So you're gonna need Maxis. You're gonna need, you're gonna need Ash, Call by the Grave, Cross Out Designator. Um, even honestly, Nibiru is good against it. It doesn't like do too much, but you can still like mitigate. Uh, the amount of uh, how big their end board could be. Can Z afford to lose uh, like three cards from his hand though? From what though? We could exchange Herald of the Forbidden, Herald for Forbidden, to have an answer for going second. Nark Valley kills Snake Eyes. Evenly hurts them as well. Yeah, you'll just have to straight up count counter it. I forgot these cards were in the game. I literally forgot these. They could search field spells, right? Yeah, but Snake Eyes is like the large majority. Like you just see that shit way too much. You might as well counter for it. Because the hand traps, like those hand traps are still going to work for like other decks too. Droll is good as well. Okay, what's their end board going to look like, though? Ignister uh, is... I forget. Is, it's not a quick effect, right? The Synchro? I missed my true Draco Val, because that was fun. Good times. Good times. Ignister... Once per turn, target a pendulum monster card on the field or one card in your pendulum zone. Destroy it and then shuffle one card on the field to the deck. If he activates this, he'll shuffle himself. Special summon a Draco from the deck. I think Nibiru will resolve. This is his third summon, right? This is the fourth. Discard this card for the rest of the turn. Your opponent cannot target Dragon Slayers. Also, they can't be destroyed. Pendulum Summon, and we just nib off the bat. This card is special summon off the Dragon Slayer card. Add a field spell from your deck to your hand, except it's negated, right? Is this not negated? Oh, it just can't be used as synchro material? Okay. Oh, interesting. This is a normal summon? When you draw this card, reveal it. You can conduct one pendulum summon of monsters. Shit, I thought he was going to pen summon. Now I gave away that I had I have Nibiru. I don't think he can stop it, so we'll wait. Yeah, they pen summon and we, we just win. Elich, Paleo, Suship, Rescue Ace, Sky Striker, and Sortal. Um, I mean, Elich, if you play Elich, you're going to be forced to run some Floodgates that can that can beat them. Suship, I don't play, so I'm not too familiar with. Uh, Rescue Ace, you can literally mix them with Snake Eye. Uh, Sky Striker, I have no idea. 
When this card is Link Summon, and uh, you can pay 1200 at one penalty month to protect your hand. Oh, yeah, he has to penalty summon after this. Sword Soul? Sword Soul can uh, throw in some hand traps to deal with uh, Snake Eye. Honestly, playing Sword Soul, you could literally just throw some Floodgates. Play your Sword Soul and throw some Floodgates in. He's, he might just end his turn. Now that he knows I have Nibiru. And then it'll either force me to activate it or just let him end his turn. Which honestly, if he just ends his turn, okay, he's gonna pen summon, dude. Can he out? Can he play around Nibiru though? He could. Mm, let's. Yeah, we have to Nibiru now. If he could play around it, it is what it is. Okay, check this out. Check this out. Nibiru, summon the token in the Anima Zone, and then if I make Anima, I can steal that token. And I will get all the attack points. Nasty business, bro. This card is tributed. Oh, shit. Add a Drago card from somewhere to, to his hand. From the extra deck to the hand. Like, I could potentially OTK. No, I'm saying, like, just throw in some Floodgates. Like, just play... Yeah, see? Boom. Cool. Uh... Like, just throw in, like, a summon limit or some shit. Like, go first, do your end board, and throw in a fucking summon limit or whatever. Oh, Porky Pig. Come on, let's get this rank up. We're going first. This is looking good so far. Um, okay, this is not a brick. Uh, but if we get ashed, it is kind of, it's going to hurt. So we already have, we already have Diviner. This is awesome. Unless we get hand trapped. Maxi, this is Maxi. Yeah, we have to ash that. Because we're going to go balls deep. We're going to ditch um, the second copy of Ritual Sanctuary. It doesn't really matter. Either one of these, it's the same thing. Grab Ohime. Ohime will search its own ritual spell. And then I'm going to discard the Ritual Spell. Because the Preparation of Rites is going to add it right back to my hand. So search it. Ditch it. Add it back with Prep. Prep is going to search Ben 10. I hope you're looking, Godzilla. So now we search Ben 10. And now we have full combo. Add back the card we just discarded. Now we Ritual Summon. Which this is how we tribute Ben 10. The, the main way. This is the number one way to tribute it. So, Nibiru would suck, though. Like, if we get nibbed, it is what it is, man. Now we search Diviner. Holy shit, I forgot Ben 10 can search Herald, uh, the Hand Trap Herald. Now we Normal Summon, Mill Trias. And now we just do our standard uh, Valk, Valk side of the, the plays. Okay, um, let's see if he has Nib. He does not have Nib. Let's go, unless his toggle is off. Let's see what he's playing. Please don't mill anything good. Rescue Ace. Nice. We milled the Hydrant, which I guess is uh, good. We milled a Max C. So let's just hope he doesn't have his last one. Um,. I could make an Appaloosa and I pretty much win unless he can out the Appaloosa. Um, but the problem with that 
is that if there's just one big target, that means it's easier to get rid of. Like he could just kaiju it. But if I have multiple targets, it's it's like it's like what I just gotta do what I gotta do, man. It is what it is. Okay, so now we're gonna make uh, IP Mascarena. Don't bet it all on Appaloosa. Yeah, that's literally what I was explaining. Muhammad, thank you for the follow. Uh, next, we are going to play the equip card. It doesn't matter who we equip it to. It, it doesn't matter. We're going to get rid of the equip card. Yeah, so I pretty much, I think this is like full combo. This is like dream end board. Uh, doesn't matter. Oh, yeah. We don't want to bring back Sesh. We want to bring back Drit. We want to keep the level 1 in the grave because we're going to use the ritual spell to bring it back. So now we make the rank 9. Now we, we get rid of IP and Drit to make Elf. This is going to bring back Diviner from my graveyard. We don't, we don't care that Ohime can be targeted. We it's fine. We want to we want to protect other uh, stuff from being targeted. Um, next, we are going to bring back the sesh from the graveyard. Yeah. By returning this one back to the deck, the preparation of rights. Because it, it could just add back my ritual spell. And then this will bring back Diviner. And then next turn, we bring back IP Mascarena. And then I'm going to activate Ohime. To equip. Elf with the equip card so that my elf can't be destroyed. Oh my god, I used... I, never mind, I used IP to make it. I'm stupid. I should have equipped this to Ohime. I'm stupid. God damn it. I forgot I used IP to make it. <laughs> so that was it. So basically, equip it to anybody other than fucking Elf. Okay? Now we pass. Next turn, we bring back oh uh, IP Mascarena. Freaking stupid. So now we, we can steal any two cards. We can... Once we steal, we'll have Trias in the grave. We'll have a, another pop. We'll have a pop once we tribute Diviner. Potentially even Ohime. And Sesh, if we want to draw three cards and pop. And then we could bring back Diviner with Elf, which will trigger Diviner's effect to send the test, and then we'll pop another card. So that's that, those are all our interruptions. Elf can be destroyed because we made it with IP. And then we could have equipped it um, Mikanko Dance with anybody else. So that they couldn't be destroyed. So like, most likely Ohime. Couldn't you Diviner into Excel Synchro Dragon? Revive Diviner into Baron? What's Excel Synchro Dragon? Rescue Ace Headquarters. During the main phase, you can normal summon one Rescue Ace in addition to your normal summoner set. Once per turn, target four of your rest grace cards that are banished in your graveyard. Shuffle. Okay, that's fine. We don't give a shit about that. Uh, whatever play you just mentioned, I don't even know what that play. I think you should add Excel Synchro Stardust Dragon. So that if you do this combo line again, you can make a Baron using the Mikanko. Uh, I'll take a look at that after this. Uh... Okay, he's playing Snake Eye uh, Rescue Ace. Yeah, we'll let this resolve. Oh yeah, also all his monsters lose a thousand attack and defense. Until I get rid of Leviathan. He's just playing the Diablo engine. Oh, to get the hydrant. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna activate this now. There's a delay. I don't like that. I don't like that there's a delay. If it's a call by, bro, this always happens, man. This always happens. This one card always gets hit. All right, so.
do I want to bring back IP? We'll, we'll see. So I'm going to activate this now. I'm going to tribute two fairies. I think I'll... Nah, I'll tribute. I'll tribute all three. We're going to pop this spell card. So now he can't get a level one. It happens right now. So he can't do it. Like, if he wants to respond, he had to do it before it resolved. So now I get a guaranteed pop. So now this spell card. And now I draw two. Don't do nothing. And now I, I drew it at Maxine and Ash. Oh my god. Okay, so now I have a choice. I could... Oh yeah, also I'm triggering Diviner's Effect. So now we go into our, our Valk plays again. Is it Hydrogen Graveyard? Uh, so they can still add it with the spell? Did I fuck up? You can banish this card from the graveyard, then target one Snake Eye or Diablo Star in your graveyard? No, he can, he doesn't have a he doesn't have target. Yeah, so this needs to go to the grave, Diablo Star. Um, we'll do level ones. So that way we can potentially make Chaos Angel. I pretty much win here. I doubt he can make a comeback. His spell is useless. He's probably going to go battle phase. Which means we don't want to pop this. Oh, he had this. What does that do? Bash this card. Then target once in full spoils. So, uh, place on the bottom of the deck and draw a card. That's fine. We still have... Uh, don't tell me he just fucking top decked that shit. Don't tell me he just top decked that. He's going to activate that. Maxi now? Sure. Don't Appalooza. Okay, everyone is saying too many different things, so I'm just going to ignore everybody now. Before you guys affect my decision, I'm going to wait. Subversion, who's he, who's he targeting? If he targets Elf, I just activate Elf. Sigrun? Sure, yeah. I don't know what he was doing with that. It's the end of the main phase. Alright, IP. I think I want to activate this. Poplar will summon in the grave, right? Why did you wait until the end of the maze? I'm not making a follow. Okay, so now... He could link this off. I think we're good. We win. It's okay. We win. We win with three seconds. It's about goddamn time. See, this is why I don't like looking at chat sometimes. So many people saying different things. 
and I just gotta ignore everybody before you guys affect my decision. It's about fucking time. I can take a break. My head fucking hurts. Oh my god, dude. My hair hurt. Oh. 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 You could have made Appaloosa and not worried about subversion because Elf would have protected it. Oh. Okay. So those last duels, we did really good. We didn't misplay, but that's irrelevant. Um, we didn't see Cyber Tutu Bond at all. Like, we were actually drawing good. Like, we were drawing, like, all of our cards we wanted. So, like, I don't even know if I should change anything. Like, we were literally just, we just, we just drew everything we wanted. Search Stardust Excel. Because I do play three Chaos Angels. So, like, I could take one out if I really want to. Like, the, but I do play three Chaos Angels because, like, we make it, like, so consistently in this deck. Excel. This one? If this card is Synchro Summoned, so you have to Synchro using a level 2 and a level 6. The only... Okay, the only problem with this... The only problem making this is that I have to ritual summon the Ohime plus I have to summon Diviner after it hits the graveyard. Because on summon, if I want to activate Diviner's effect, which 99.9% .9 of the times I'm going to activate it, it's going to change its level so I can't synchro. She's going to be level 11. So then I would have to like get rid of it, like tribute it with Trias, and then hope I have Ritual Sanctuary to bring it back from the graveyard so it comes back as a level 2. That's the only way I can make this card. So those are like those are literally the only conditions. So I literally have to normal summon Diviner and not use its effect. Which is like bad. Like the effect is just way too good not to use it. It's better than the third Chaos Angel. Divine. Revive Diviner with Elf. True, we could do that as well. Uh, if this card is Synchro Summon, you can special summon one level two or lower tuner. Our only targets would be Herald and Diviner. Do I even have the space? Like, I think my board is going to be too big. During the main phase, quick effect. Uh, Chibi this card, special summon Stardust. Wait, do I have to put Stardust? Then Synchro Summon using monsters you control. Okay, so. For the rest of this turn, the monsters Synchro Summon by this card's effect are unaffected by your opponent's activated effects. Okay, that last part is pretty good. Okay, so what this means, what this means is that I don't have space for it. So I have to put this, Stardust Dragon, and Baron. That's three, that's three extra cards. I mean, I could get rid of one Arc Light and one Chaos Angel. Maybe Aggregator? Aggregator doesn't come up too much. So I guess I could. But, that's only because I haven't had to make it yet. There is one situation it would come up late in the duel. That's like for really grindy games. But is that does that mean it's necessary? Probably not. Baron might be better. You'd make Baron or Chaos Angel? Oh, no, no, no. Star Stardust is light, is wind. So you can't make Chaos Angel. The non-tuner needs to be light or dark. So we can't. We can remove aggregator because our rank 9 plays the generator engine. 
uh, and we no longer play Nadir Servant. I was thinking of adding Nadir Servant back because like it's so good, but it just kills the Link plays. So, man, it's just I need I need a card like Nadir Servant that can let me go into my Link plays. But uh, there's just Nadir Servant. We need Valk Servant spell card. How are we sending the test, Diviner? Godzilla, were you even watching Last Duel? Uh, yes, Natessa is a fairy. Synergy, bro. Synergy. Okay, so, um, The reason why I play two Herald of Arc Lights, one is to mill with uh, uh, Diviner if I open up Triaz. Then I don't need to mill Triaz. So then I could just get one of my combo pieces out. So let's say I don't have Ben 10 or Ohime. Normal summon Diviner and I have Ben 10 or, or, or Ohime, which is amazing. And then the second one, oh wait. Wait, I don't need I don't need two anymore. This was for when I played Nadir Servant. Because I would banish one. Yeah, because I would banish one. That's why I played it at two. Okay. So I could cut one. Unless I find a way to consistently synchro summon one of these. But even then, I would still get the search effect. So I guess I could take out one of these. I think three Chaos Angels is overkill. Definitely not overkill. Considering I can make it with one card, not overkill at all. Two, two comes up almost all the time. And there's been a couple times where like I wish I had a third. There were some duels where like, man, I really wish I had a third Chaos Angel. It, ha it happens a lot, actually. But the um the second her uh, herald uh, I could get rid of, um because I like I don't have a consistent way of always making of synchro summoning it, because usually I go for other targets for my ritual sanctuary summon. What what can I replace it with? This this engine is way too big. The Excel synchro package. Does Muckcracker work? Oh yeah, it's an OTK baby. Muckcracker definitely works. Muckcracker, though, you, you do it at the end because it locks you into fiends. How many fiends I play? Chaos Angel. Three, baby. <laughs> Muckcracker is generic. You can make it with any... You can make it with tokens. Oh, wait, no, you can't make it with... You can't make it with tokens, but you can make it with any, any monsters in the deck. What, like, the way I make it is I make a Chaos Angel, and then I use Chaos Angel to make Muckcracker, and then Muckcracker brings back Chaos Angel... Which, which activates Chaos Angel's effect. Because Chaos Angel doesn't need to be Synchro Summoned to banish a card. All it says is if this card is Special Summoned. So Muckcracker will Special Summon it and then you get a free pop. Free Banish. So that's essentially two Banishes. You make the first Chaos Angel. Make Muckcracker. Muckcracker bring it back. Boom. Chaos Angel. Second Banish. So on the duels where I summon two, I get three Banishes. Now, I'm going to try to do three and get four banish if that ever comes up. I'm sure I can make it happen. But the, the but the thing is, I used to play Sigrun at three. I used to play her at three. I play her at two now. So, maybe the third Chaos Angel might not work, but I'll, I'll test it. Why would you play the original Stardust? We're using it to make Baron. I still have to put it in my deck, though. Because in order to play, to, in order to synchro summon, you need Stardust Dragon. This card doesn't let you synchro summon on its own. You need to summon Stardust from the extra deck to to synchro summon on your opponent's turn. So you have to put Stardust. Like you need it, you have to, you have to play it. So that's already three, Baron plus this plus Stardust. You need room for three synchros. So this lets you synchro summon after you tribute it to summon Stardust. 
put this in Baron. I still need to put Stardust though. So that's three cards. You can use j just use its first effect. Yeah, but then we can't synchro summon on our opponent's turn though. I thought that was the whole point. I thought the I thought the whole point was to um. I thought the whole point was to synchro summon on your opponent's turn. But I guess if we're making a Baron, it's kind of irrelevant then. I okay. I see what you mean now, Godzilla. Okay, I see what you mean now. We're, you weren't telling me to make it to synchro summon on my opponent's turn, just to make Baron on my turn. Okay, that makes sense. So I mean, this could work. But here's the thing. Here's the thing with this version. We're not going to be going to, into this all the time. We only get this if our hand is optimal. But actually, now that I think about it. This is actually not a bad option. This is, this is a really good scenario for when I ritual summon Ohime. To search tribu tributing band ten, search diviner. Normal summon diviner. Let's say diviner gets ashed, and I have no way to to play around it. it let's say it gets impermed, and I have no way to play around it. Then this is really good, cause then I just synchro, and I have a baron. So at least like I have an interruption. So that's actually really good for that scenario. It happens a bit. Okay, so we're in diamond now. I don't want to keep grinding. Been streaming for three and a half hours. I wish there was something else to do. Other than just grinding all day. I mean, I could just practice with a different deck now. We could try this version or I could like practice with a different deck. But we've been cooking too hard with this one. Make snake eyes, Alex. I don't have the cards, unfortunately. I don't have the snake eye cards. I think I have one poplar. Um, I think I have two flame birch. That's good. Um, I have no. I I have one bonfire. One bonfire. Um, I think I have three ashes. You know what? Who knows? Maybe I. Maybe I do. Maybe I do have the cards. This hand, uh, not the, not good. This hand's not good. Dinomorphia, fuck. We need Ohime. Negate my spell and trap. I think we're I think we're fucked. With this hand, it's not it's not the best option. Okay. We got ritual, but Maxi Ash. We're not gonna cross out that because we have to we have to ditch cross out for sanctuary. Floodgate Gravedigger? Fuck. Um okay, let's see. They could negate my cross out. They have the counter trap. My hand is dog shit. They're gonna fusion summon and just negate anything I make. But if I don't cross out, they're just going to negate Ritual Sanctuary. So might as well eat up the negate. No, if I normal Drit, I have no way of of ditching my Sesh. Like, I need to find a way to get Sesh to my graveyard, but I don't, I don't have any way 
to get it to my graveyard because my normal my normal summon would be eaten by Drit. I wish I had a way to to pitch it. See if if one of these were two two, two two bond, two two bond would be clutch. Two two bond would be really clutch right now if I had it. So there's the negate. That's what we wanted though. We wanted that spell and trap negate out of here. Most likely has the fusion card. I could make a rank 9. That's all I could do. But they're most likely going to uh, negate it anyway. Uh, they have the fucking... Um, actually, wait a minute. Hold on. Oh man, that means I have to get rid of my level 9. So what I could do, after I search Sigrun, we're going to have to ditch the rank 9 play. Okay, I thought they were going to summon the negate. They didn't summon the negate. So unless, hold on, uh, quick effect, you can pay half your life points, banish the Dynamorphia normal trap from your graveyard. Okay, never mind, they do have it. Does, does our Leviathan... Rex term isn't a negate. It's in uh, Amano. Uh, what does that mean again? Like, does Leviathan bypass this? Rex, Rex says you can't, like, activate effects. Is like, you know, what is what I meant. Like, you can't activate the effects of monsters. So, can I still activate Leviathan? They have a fusion that negates any effect of a monster with more attack. Yeah, that's Rex, right? It means it stops you from activating monster effects. So does that mean... So does the Leviathan work or not? Because it tributes its cost, right? So the cost goes through. The cost goes through. It wouldn't as it, as when you say you it wouldn't that means uh, because it has higher than a thousand attack. So like it it would like I can't activate it. Uh. Okay, so then this is our last play. Level six or lower Dynamorphia card. Okay, so once. Bro, he could just bring back... So if I pop Rex, he could just bring this back. See, all we need is Ohime and we win. We just we were just unlucky we didn't have Ohime. Damn, wish I had a rank 9 that can like bypass... Um, let's see if this works. Let's do this. Banish your opponent's entire hand. Wow. What an idiot. He just gave me, he just gave me game. He just gave me game. Oh my God, dude. He just gave me game. That is crazy, bro. You are shitting me, brother. That is game. <laughs> he just gave me game. That is crazy, brother. You need to uninstall the game right now. You need to uninstall. That is wild. I'll still activate this for the funsies. That is crazy, brother. I could activate Diviner. 
You just gave me game. They can't stop effect damage, right? Hold on. What is he doing? He actually stopped that? Wait, how did he give me attack points? How did he give me attack points? What happened? The attack of all monsters. Yo, be <laughs> become your life points. Oh, shit. He got lucky. During damage count, give your life points for 2,000 or less. If we take battle damage. Okay. He's lucky, dude. He's lucky. Bro, he brought us back into this game. That's crazy. Okay, he's not dead yet. He got, he got really lucky, man. Yo, Rex changed my attack. That's crazy. He really helped me, though. He unbricked my hand. Can he auto Hime? I don't know. He need, he needs to he needs he needs traps in the graveyard. If he doesn't ha if he can't find a way to get traps in the grave, I win. And he doesn't have any traps right now in the grave. This doesn't do anything. I still win. He can't stop Ohime. He's gonna take like two thousand damage, two thousand something. Unless he activates this middle card right here. Unless this middle card. Is is a Dynamorphia trap that where like you could just banish it to stop battle damage? I win. Let's see. Uh, when your opponent activates a card or effect while you have two thousand or less, you can banish this card. You take no effect. That it doesn't matter. He can't activate that. I win. He yo he gave me game. He gave me game, dude. <laughs> I just, yeah, we only needed all evil, dude. He was he was being extra when he didn't need to be extra. But in his defense, in his defense, he had his skill drain, and I was still making plays. So he thought I had something. <laughs> Let's go! Oh my god, dude! I can't believe that just happened, dude. That's crazy. We got the tutu bond, which was good. Because we, even though we we could still activate Diviner, we don't we didn't need to normal summon it. We could just tribute it off from our hand. Oh, he may don't care about Rex turn. Although he did get lucky to where he could actually uh, banish his trap card to negate the battle damage. We had three cards in hand. He wanted to make sure. Fuck you, Rada. And the crazy part is, if he activated that after my Trias was summoned, I don't think we had game. Because we would have drawn Maxi and Ben 10. Right? Ohime, I believe Ohime was the last card. So we needed exactly three cards. So if he waited, we would have lost. What was our hand looking like? Egg, Sigrun, one for one. Uh, ritual sank and cross out. Um, normal summon egg, search sanctuary. One for one, get rid of Sigrun, summon Sesh. Sesh searches special summons Dritz, which searches our last Sigrun. Ritual Sanctuary, discard the extra copy of Ritual Sanctuary. Grab Ohime. Yeah, the board would have been that good. Not bad, though. The new cards that's like a maxi look pretty cool. Definitely way, balance, way more balanced. Mikonko is uh, kind of hard to plan for in best of one. The only true enemy is the rigged shuffler making you uh, break. I didn't think they errata Maxi. Let's find out what they played. I mean, people like people have been complaining, uh, complaining so long about Maxi.
I guess Konami was finally like, you know what? Okay, we'll finally hit it. So we can sell you the problem, the solution to your, your, your problem. Make a problem and then just sell you the solution. Make bank. Okay, it's a good thing he scooped. Fuck this deck. Um, this card should be banned. Um, this dragon. This dragon should be banned. Um, yeah, this dragon should be banned. Ban it and the OTK is, is dead. Why did the FTK bot scoop? Is it programmed to scoop if it doesn't go first? Let me get a protein bar. Interesting. If we get ashed, we want Ritual Sanctuary to get ashed. So we don't want Diviner to get ashed. Ditch the Mekonkle card, which has a graveyard effect, which is really good. We need a fairy to send from the hand to the graveyard. Um, we'll grab Ohime. I am going to mill that. Because I could just recycle it. Now I have a fairy for Harold. Okay, that was the one hand trap. That would have worked. Holy crap, dude. And we literally just discarded. We literally just got rid of the, the spell card that will help tribute this. That, that, that's fucked. That's fucked, dude. Imperm was like the perfect hand trap. What's he playing? Uh, it's probably stun, which means max C is useless, and I lose. I'll turn my toggle on, though. Cash Tiro? Wow. Fucking hell. I have to, I have to activate max C now. Which is too late, though. I have to wait. Tell this my toggle is on, so as soon as this resolves though, I think I should act I could I'll be able to activate Maxi. That's okay. That's actually okay. That's actually really good. Unless they get rid of my ritual sanctuary, because now we could just Bring it back from the graveyard. We're not going to negate that. No, bro. Oh, my God. Bro.
This card needs to be banned. Um, I think I can still pop it though. So what we're going to do, preparation of rights. We're going to grab Benten and the ritual spell from the grave. But now, okay, but now we can't bring back Diviner from the graveyard because we need to pop Macrocosmo. But it's okay because we're, we're going to search another one. And remember, I have an equip in my graveyard so I could pop that. So now we're going to activate it. We're going to summon Ohime, tributing Ben 10. We lose the negate, but we have to. We have to do this. We're going to be... Uh, this doesn't need to hit the graveyard. It just needs to be tributed. So it'll search us another Diviner. And now we get to pop Macrocosmo. And inflict a thousand. And once my ritual spell resolves, it, 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 it I don't think it'll hit the banner zone. It'll go straight to the graveyard since this will be popped. There we go, baby. Get shit on, nerd. Bro, opening up that equip spell was so fucking good. Macro card design is so stupid. Don't know what it was, why it was ever made. Because Konami's brain dead. Welcome to the stream, though. All hundreds. It should definitely be banned. That was such a good draw, man. Holy crap. Uh, and now we have two spells in the graveyard again. So I actually don't have to normal summon Diviner. What I could do is special summon it, and instead we'll search Trias. Because once we special summon it, we'll get a mill. But if we get hit with like some sort of hand trap, though, it'll be it'll be kind of trash having a Trias stuck in the hand. But we can use it as fuel for Herald's uh, negate. So. Yeah, let's grab it. Now, Ritual Sank. We're going to bring back Diviner from the grave. Uh, we'll mill Nites and we'll pop something. And then we pretty much... We pretty much win from here. Yeah, we're definitely popping the set. I think it's the cash trap that special summons them from like the graveyard and banish zone or whatever. It's a solemn warning. What the fuck? All right. Um, now we have the tribute. Do I want to tribute two? If I tribute two, we do get to pop this. No, we're going to tribute one. Summon from the deck. Summon Drit. Uh, in attack mode. Search out Sigron. It's kind of risky. We, we know one card in their hand. We know one card is a cash card. The, he searched it. Let's just hope it's a normal summon. Doesn't really matter which one we make. Oh, which one we summon. Okay, so now any surprises? We negate. We got the combo, boys. That's right. We make a cash player scoop. Oh, I love it. I love the smell of a cash scoop in the morning, brother. Oh, my God. Uh, 
Uh, shoe ship has a lot of gas, especially when it paired with adventure. Uh, not in recent ones. It's actually ranked. Just been dueling in casual mode, testing some things through. Oh, Godzilla plays shoe ship. He likes shoe ship. Can confirm adventure works really well. Adventure works really well with this engine as well. But the only problem is it just adds too many cards to my deck, and then it also kills normal summons, unfortunately. But the only re the only reason why we won this is because we opened the Mikonko equip spell. That's the only reason why we won. If we didn't open that, that's pretty much game, dude. <laughs> oi, oi, oi. Not only did we open it, but we, we also managed to get it to the graveyard. Because it we like we would have to have gotten it to the graveyard the turn prior, because any time after that, it would have been banished instead. Um, we'll see. This was just one duel, though. But yeah, that's not going to happen all the time, though. That was just, uh... Macro Cosmo is at fucking three. That fucking card is at three. Right? Like, why the fuck is this at three? This doesn't make any sense. Why the fuck is this at three? Like, Konami is fucking slacking. Like, honestly, like, is not enough people complaining about this card? Like, are not enough Yu Gi Tubers complaining about this dog shit? And then, this shit. This shit is at three, too. This is even worse! It's a spell card. You can activate it immediately. This is 10 times worse, bro. And this shit is at 3 as well. Activate Lancia. I think it stops. Stops it. During your opponent's turn. Oh, it has to be during the opponent's turn. You can tribute this card from your hand or field. Neither player can banish cards for the rest of the turn. Neither player. Fisher is worse than Macrocosmos? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But they both should be either banned or at one. It stops the banishing for a turn? Okay, so this ain't too bad. And this is a Light Fairy too. This is, this is a really good side deck option. If side decking ever comes to Master Duel. You can set this card in your, uh, from your hand, your spell and trap zone. During your opponent's turn, this card is destroyed. It's supposed to summon it. During your opponent's turn, you can tribute this card from the hand or field. Neither player can banish cards the rest of the turn. It's just very situational. It's not gonna it's not gonna come up often. I like this card, and it's a light fairy too, which is really dope. But it's just so situational. Lancer was the original card that I paired with Venu. <laughs> Sox is level 5. You know who else is level 5 though? Ugh. Cyber Tutubon. But she's an Earth though. So we can't make it we can't use her for Chaos Angel. Okay, we're going first and we got triple tactics. Cool. We have got call by as well. Wait, so it, let's say we call by an Ash. Does this still work? If your opponent has activated a monster... Yeah, it does, because it doesn't negate the activation of Ash. It just negates the effect, right? Its effects are negated? Yeah. 
Nico Senshi, welcome to the stream. Okay, that's actually kind of crazy. Okay, but my hand kind of sucks. Um. We have to. We have. We actually have to hope we get ashed. Nico, since she just followed. thank you to follow Nico. Thank you for the like. I have to hope he message. ashes this. Welcome to the stream. Cause my hands shit. I don't have anything. No, he didn't ash it. Oh no, dude. This is this isn't this isn't good, man. This is this is really dog shit. Like we don't have any plays. Hopefully he ashes the foolish. Like, I need him to play. Bro, the one time we want them to play hand traps. Oh, my God. This is what I was worried about when I put this card in my deck. Like, there's literally nothing we can send. We don't have any graveyard effects. We don't have Ritual Sanctuary. Oh, my God. We Dead fucking hand trap and call by and triple tactics. Like, bro, this is the this is the hand trap curse, man. This is what hand traps do to... Due to your brain, this is what your this is what your brain looks like on hand traps, dude. And now I just fucking pass. Like holy crap, so bad. I I literally have to hope Max C doesn't get a uh, hit. Oh my god, two duels in a row, dude. Yeah, I'll just do this now. He'll probably banish my Nates or my Baron. Or Appaloosa. Ash? No, we have to call by. We we have to we have to hopefully get into Nibiru. Nibiru's our only chance. We just have to hope that he doesn't cross out Nibiru. Although if he does have a cross out, I think he would probably cross out this call by. What sucks about this hand too? He got rid of uh wait, why not just get rid of Baron? El Jefe Nino just followed. Thank you for the follow. Thank you for the follow, Nino. Welcome to the stream. Vanquish Soul. Uh, I think they can OTK, right? He's looking at my extra deck confused as fuck. He's like, what is this guy playing? He's like, why is there fairies, but there's also rank nines, but there's also Chaos Angel and, and Baron. Wait, wait, there's also Lynx too. The fuck? What is he playing? Are we even going to draw under Maxi? Like, he could literally just attack pass, and we probably, like, still won't draw anything. Because we have to discard for Ohime. Okay, cool. That's actually really good. That's a really good draw. But let's see if we get OTK'd or not. And they don't have an OTK. Cool. Uh, we have a chance, but he just revealed Max C, right? He could have an Ash.
So we know he has Maxi. Uh, triple Tactics will be live. Oh, he gets to burn me again? Oh, okay, that, that's game. God fucking damn it. Okay, now we just, we just bricked. Like, we literally couldn't do anything. Was rank up game? It's always the rank up games. Oi, oi, oi. They had like the perfect, <laughs> the perfect ad. Man, fifteen hundred every turn. That's not too bad. They had exactly, that was like exactly game, right? Was it? 25 and something? Uh, this hand, act, this hand works. Uh, we have call by as well. Okay, we want the Ritual Sanctuary to get hit. We don't want it prep. Oh, wait. Actually, wait. We need both of them. Fuck. Shit. We need both of these to resolve. If they... Okay, we could stop. We, we can only stop the Ash or the Call By. We can't stop both. Okay, so that goes through. Cool, cool. Ohime will search its ritual spell and then we'll ditch it. Doesn't really matter. We can add it back from the graveyard with prep and we also have Trias. I'd rather keep Trias in my hand though in case he has a bestial. So we will discard this and then we can add it back with this. Yeah, we'll just just in case he's got a bestial. We'll keep Trias. And then Benton. Now we Tribute. And then now we have Diviner. Uh, it's not Maxi. So this is actually pretty good. We have Diviner with Trias in our hand. So we don't have to mill Trias. We could mill, uh, we could literally mill anything. What is it? It's not a bestial. Because there was a delay before we got Ben 10 in Grave. Okay, we're adding from our deck to our hand. Uh, Diviner. Normal summon. Ash. Um, I don't think it is because... I think there was a delay when we activated the ritual spell. I'm pretty sure there was. Maybe it's a it's a labyrinth. I'm going to guess labyrinth. Okay, so we we got options. We can grab another Benten or another Ohime. We could mill We're getting our Valk plays. It's kind of too... Actually, it's not too late for Harold. I think I'm going to mill the Drit. Mm. 
Yeah, we're sending to the graveyard. Because we have Trias in hand already. Now we're going to tribute. Diviner goes into the Valk plays. Just turn your toggle off, bro. Come on. It's definitely la it's Labyrinth. Seshed. It's going to go into Sigrun. We can actually... What's cool about having the Equip Spell in the Grave already... Oh, what the fuck? When your opponent special summons a monster face up, you can discard a card, then target one of those face up monsters and negate its effects. Also, if that face-up monster leaves the field, its controller takes damage equal to its original attack. Zero? Cool. Um, okay. So, this... Um... The f okay, the fact that we, we went this far, and that's all they activated, means yes, I'll negate it. Because we went, we did all these plays and no Ash, no Maxi, nothing. So that's all he has. There's no way he's holding other hand traps. That's insane. That's absolutely insane if he has other fucking hand traps. That was his one hand trap and, he, and they were just waiting. They're waiting for the perfect time. And this will bring back the Drit. There's another, Jesus fight. Come on, bro. There's another delay. It could literally be anything. Okay, so we could make Appalooza. Uh, let's okay. Let's find out what he's playing. If it's Lab, we don't want to mill. <laughs> it's not gonna be a good idea. <laughs> but let's mill. Okay, uh, cash. Um, so Appalooza would be good to make right now because if it is a nib, which there's a good chance it's a nib, I think, I think he has nib. So I'm actually going to make Appalooza right now. I I do think I do think he has nib cuz I I don't know what the delay is. I have no idea what the delay can be. All right, so we got a couple effects. We have one, two, three. First, we're going to do this. First, we're going to activate the Mikonko equip from the grave. Sucks that we couldn't make Elf first. Bring back Ohime. Now we'll just get rid of the spell. Because we don't really need it. Now we have a rank 9 play. We have a 4 negate Appalooza. We have a steal with the rank 9. And then I, I can still special summon for my grave. I don't know who I want to special summon just yet. I have 1, 2, 3, 4. I got 4 spells in grave. We want the equip in the graveyard. Um, We could bring back Diviner. Because we won't... <coughs> uh, Ohime will be banished So actually, okay, this is what I'm going to do Activate Ohime, re-equip To Appalooza So Appalooza can't be destroyed Because we didn't we didn't make it with IP So we'll, pl we'll protect Appalooza Now we will Special summon Shuffling this and this we'll, We can make Elf now Oh, wait, we can make Baron. What am I saying? I can literally make a Baron right now. Um, yeah, I think Baron's probably the better choice, actually. Yeah. 
We'll make Baron. So we have four monster negates and omni negate, and we got to steal. We can we can steal two cards. Please don't kaiju me. Please don't kaiju. Please don't kaiju, bro. Don't do me like this, bro. All right, we'll never know what the delay was. We'll look at his deck after. Hard make Nites. <laughs> so I special summon Nites from my extra deck. Lightning Storm, attack position monsters. Destroy all spell and traps. No way. He chose to destroy spell and traps? Okay, that means he's going to target Appalooza with something. So now Appalooza can be destroyed by, with card effects. So in the main phase, you can this card from your hand. If you do, banish a cashier or a scare claw from your hand or graveyard. This card negates anything. I don't want that on the field. Well, actually, no, no, never mind. It's okay on the field. This one is okay because I could steal it before he applies his uh, effect. I'll let him special summon this and then I'll steal I'll steal both of these now. Yeah. So now I'll activate this. And I'm gonna steal both his monsters. So he has two cards left. He could still have a cash card. Imperm. There goes Appalooza's negate. He probably has like Fenrir or something. So we should be good. One card left. Div incarnate. Okay. Not bad. <clears throat> he could. He's. He's gonna special summon my Baron. This could be destroyed by battle, right? You fucked up, kid. You fucked up. They're both dead now. Whatever that is, it's mine. Fuck. That better not have a fucking graveyard effect. If this card is banished... Okay, it's fine. Okay. So we don't have game yet, which kind of sucks. Unless we top deck something really good. Not that. Okay, he could top deck some pretty good stuff. Uh, if he gets the cash tiras, we negate and become 20, was it 800 we lose? And there it fucking is right now. Ugh. Yeah, now he just attacks though. And he banishes me. If I if I if I negate, does does he not get to banish after? I have to let him play. I have to let him search, play, and hope he um. Oh fuck! Are you kidding me? He plays two of those. Are, bro, as if 
Why the fuck does, does a cash player get this fucking top deck, man? He's got me. If he summons that, he attacks me and makes me zero or just banish me. If I negate, he banishes me. He's cheating 100%. So either way, I lose Appalooza. Either way, Appalooza's gone. So I'm, I'm going to just stop him from uh, extending. I'm just going to stop him from uh, making a rank 7. Now he just attacks and Appalooza's banished. Or just banish. Oh, I can negate, negate that too. That's fine. Yeah, but like he's still gonna just attack me. So yeah, it, it like it didn't matter what I do. Either way, it's gone. Oh shit! I misclicked. That was a that was a misplay. I was I was trying to tribute it. I was supposed to tribute it. I, that was a misclick. I forgot. I can only activate Trias' effect during the main phase. I was gonna activate during the battle phase, and I forgot. As if we lost to a top deck. That's fucking insane. Alright. We're just going to mill something we... I don't know. Don't want to draw next turn. I guess. If we if somehow survive. Uh, because there's nothing I could just send. Definitely don't want to draw Nibiru. My Ohime got banished? How did my Ohime get banished again? Peace out, Godzilla. Uh, either this or Nibiru. Man, we lost, we lost to a fucking top deck, man. Like, come on. Against a fucking cash player, bro. No, I can't activate the equip. I need to. I need to properly. I need to properly ritual summon. So I can't just mill Ohime, and then have the equip bring her back because it wasn't properly ritual summon. Ritual summon first. And my and my the one I did it is banished, and I don't remember how. Oh, that's right, the equip. So after you special summon with the equip, the Mikanko gets banished. Oh my god. Mercy of the top deck, bro. Like, come on, dude. We lost to RNG, man. That's crazy. Against the cash player. Oh, see? Fenrir is a fucking problem, dude. This fucking card. It forced... It forced two interruptions from Appalooza. Okay, so us misplaying by not summoning Trias actually worked out in our favor. Because now, if I top deck my Diviner, we can chain and tribute. Yeah, and it's at one and he fucking top decks it. Tomahawk? Come on. This card should be banned as well. This card should be banned. Like, what's he going to make with this, man? Is he going to somehow make a fucking negate or something? That was a tribute summon? Yeah, this is pretty much game. He can make Appalooza? Bro, what? No way he can make Appalooza. No, if he can make Appalooza, he would have made it. Oh, come on!
That's wild, dude. That is that is wild. I need to take a piss. Losing to a top deck against Castura, man. Holy crap. And and they top deck a one of. Let's see. Let's see what my macros are at. Uh, I drink a Gatorade, some rice and chicken, and then the chewy protein bar. So we're at 1,260 calories today. Uh, cash Tira. Uh, yeah, I'll just max eat right now. Holy crap, this hand sucks. Hopefully, Maxi helps me. Yeah, we, we activate Maxi now because we can't we can't chain Maxi to the Cash Tira monsters. They're inherent special summons. Hand still sucks. Um, if I ash this, he might just pass. Which is not a bad thing, even though our hand sucks. Uh, that's fine. What does he think is the most important card? Oh shit, I should have got more water. I'm all out of water. Ah shit. Okay, bro. That was actually good. That was a good hit. Yeah. You ask the unicorn and they just pass. 
One for one. This hand is so weird, man. This hand is this hand is dookie. It's dookie, boy. I'm gonna keep this in my hand to to play around Kawai. So we're gonna get rid of uh Sigrun. Cause I could still normal summon Sash from my hand. Max C. Uh I okay, now we can't play around call by. <coughs> Ditch this. Can't do any ritual sanctuary plays. We honestly we can't do anything. We we have a chaos angel though. Imperm. That sucks. Uh we could dodge it by tributing. Okay, so we dodged the Imperm, which is really good. So now we have a rank 9 play. He took he took out Leviathan's target, so that rank 9 is out of the window. We could make Aggregator. Uh, that was useless, hitting that one. I don't know why he banished that one. What up, Pickles? This will bring back, back to the, the monster we just tributed. I'm gonna mill and hopefully hit some spells and traps. There we go. Good. That is perfect. That's exactly what I fucking wanted. This is at two and they're both in the grave. Okay, so aggregator. If this card is actually something you can send one monster. In the okay, so this will mill Nates. Or Herald of Arc Light. Which gives me Ohime. But I can't summon it. I think Chaos Angel, I think double Chaos Angel is the play. We're going to go double Chaos Angel. Unfortunately, this isn't game either. And he can still top deck. You know, you know, he's got another cash Tira. Banish the field spell. Uh, okay, good. Doesn't have a banish effect. And now we do 7k. Uh, this is actually good. Chaos Angel is very, very hard to out for Cash Tira. Like, I think we just win. I already, I already assumed he had that, so I'm not even surprised. They always fucking have this shit. Doesn't do anything to me though, I'm unaffected. His spell card is gone. He can search the level 4. I'm unaffected by that as well. If it's an activated effect. Uh, hold on, is it? Uh, Synchro monsters you control are unaffected by... Effects activated by your opponent. So I don't know. Does that count? Hear me out about the. Hear me out about the rank ten for two thousand. Um. That only works though, if we. Attack directly. If let's say he still had a field after we banish two. It's not game. And then I just lose two Chaos Angels. For a monster, they can just kill next turn. Whereas these Chaos Angels are unaffected. Just dance. But I'd be lying if I said I never thought about it. How did he add that back? Who the fuck gave him that shit back? 
Of course, they just top deck everything they fucking want, man. Fucking cash players. They could ban it and they'll still have it in their hand. Okay. They still can't touch me, though. They, they have to make Goddess. Unless this can bypass Chaos Angel's effect, then I'm fucked. They could definitely make Goddess right now, but even Goddess uh, can only deal with one Chaos Angel. Okay, what the fuck is this? This is new. Once per turn, attached material, target one piece of monster your opponent controls, his, his attack becomes half. Does, okay, I'm unaffected. This card gains the lost attack. It's not going to lose any attack. It does nothing. Uh, once per turn, target one piece of monster your opponent controls, does nothing. Did he forget? Was this part of the plan, or did he just. Is he going to scoop now? He can still make Goddess. That's a big delay. He fucked up. Get shit on, brother. I don't think so. People read uh, Light Monsters effects of Chaos Angel. They don't read, period. Honestly, even sometimes I don't. Because who's trying to read all that? Like, let's be honest. Who's trying to read all that? Was that three level sevens? Uh, this doesn't does does nothing to me. Yeah, that's why he summoned it in defense, pussy. But can he like rank with both of these? Make like fo or something. He had ODK if he made arise with uh, rise unicorn and ogre. What's the play there? If he made a rise, this is a rise, right? If he made a rise uh, with rise, unicorn, and ogre. So, are we affected by Kashtira, Scareclaw? That's right, boy. You scoop. I need, I'm going to grab water. I'll be right back. How do you feel about the recent TGD ban list? Um, Link Kribo did nothing wrong. Snake Eyes was the problem. Baron, I, I, I'm neutral on Baron, so that's okay if, if, you, if it gets banned. Uh, Barlow Savage did nothing wrong. You need links to, you know, to utilize the negate. And even then, it's only one negate. And with Baron gone, is it too much of a problem? I mean, Appaloosa is worse than all of those cards. Uh, I forget everything else. I'll be right back. I'm going to grab water. Guys, I want you to say hello to my little friend. I want you to say hello to my little friend. This is my boy. Yeah, this is my little boy. This is my little boy. Get on, get little boy. This is my new cat. My old cat ran away while I was out of town. My little brother just randomly showed up with this fucking kitten. He's cute. He's cute. But he's so freaking annoying, though, dude. Uh, two more wins till Diamond Four. Cool. Whoa, dude. What are you doing, dude? Just like me, he hates uh cash uh, and other meta decks like Tears and fucking 
Stay guys. Uh, he likes uh, cat related archetypes. He's a big fan of Luna Lights. Link Robo isn't fully innocent. It's a very powerful card in decks that uh, use a lot of level ones uh, since it protects your plays from targeting interruption uh, like Imperm or Effect Mailer. Yeah, but but uh, also Konami Konami made Snake uh, Snake Eyes knowing full well Link Kribo existed. They made a they made a powerful uh, they made a powerful fucking archetype that they knew was gonna be the best deck. And then Link Creepo got hit. This always happens. Like, there's always a top tier deck that makes some, like, card that was never a problem become a problem, and then people want it banned. Uh, it's the same song and dance every couple months, man. And then, and then a couple of like a year or two, they'll make a, a Link Creepo retrain. And rinse and repeat. Fuck. Of course, they just fucking. Oh my god. Okay, yeah. We're 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 we're, we're toast, man. We're dead. We ain't coming back. Uh. What are you doing, air boy? Okay, we're fucked. We lose. Thought it was just cash. No, nope. it's fucking. It's tears. Some bullshit. Great, my brother comes home as soon as I bring the cat downstairs. God damn it. Jet Synchron. Yeah, it's it's nothing new. This is simple. This is a classic Konami. At least Kieran's back. Yeah, that was dope. It's about time Kieran came back. <laughs> Bro, Kieran could have came back like... Kieran could have came back like three years ago. Maybe, maybe, maybe more. Colossus being unbanned? That was random. That caught me by surprise. Okay, his turn's probably not ending anytime soon, so I'll be right back. I'm going to take the cat upstairs. Let's go, boy. Let's go, boy. I already assumed he had that. Like, we already lost anyway. I'm thinking of stealing the Fenrir 
and then using its effect to banish Rokalos? We might we might survive one more turn. Because now, if he also activates a monster effect, we... Hold on. No, we have to pick one, right? Yeah. We either have to, in response to the monster effect, or attack. Okay, so we don't want to do that just yet. Now we're going to summon the Mikanko. Man, it sucks. We don't have a, we don't have a level 1 uh, fairy. Or level 1 or 2 fairy in the grave. Oh, yeah, I forgot. This uh, negates... Uh, fuck. Oh, shit. I totally forgot about that. Alright. Well, I already... We weren't going to win anyway. It didn't matter what we did. There's literally nothing we could have uh, done to break this board. Our hand was just dog shit. Yeah, we'll just pass. We'll just we'll just scoop. Yeah, we are we're playing uh, we're seeing more cash than Snake Eye. There's a new Max C like card and it's more balanced. OG James, did you even read my the title of my my stream? <laughs> did you even read the title? You only draw cards if you normal or special from the hand. You must control the cards to activate it. I I still don't like the new Maxi retrain. Um. Okay, we'll wait. The new Maxi uh retrain though. Like, there's some decks that it just does nothing. Like, if you're going to get rid of Max C, why are you replacing it with something that doesn't hit every deck? Because they also gave it the effect, like, if for normal summons too, right? So you'd think it'd be more versatile. But it, it's not going to work like that. Like, sure, you can use that new retrain against Flow. But this deck, for example... You're not going to draw more than one card with this deck. Because this deck, like, it doesn't, we don't special summon from the hand. We could. And there's only one card that does it, and that's Sigrun. Oh, wait, no, actually, ritual summoning counts. Never mind. Never mind. Ritual summoning is special summoning from the hand. So, actually, it does. But if I wasn't using the ritual uh, engine in this deck, it would do, like, almost nothing against my Valks. Oh my god, this is like the exact same. Okay, first there's cash tiers, and then now there's lab tiers. Next is gonna be my fucking tiers. Off stream. Off camera. Balling my fucking eyes out because this game is freaking killing me. Maybe they're planning. Maybe they're planning not banning Maxi, but putting it to like one. Yeah. Maybe they're putting Maxi to one. Maybe they're going to put Maxi to one and then test out the new card at three. Why are you laughing, Gleedle? Everyone plays Cash because it's a hard counter is Snake Eyes. I guess they want to place Maxi with something that is more matchup dependent so people don't use it in every deck and use it as a side instead. So then, yeah, Maxi to one or two. Which I guess also kind of, that also kind of deals with Maxi. The fact that it won't be at three. Because you, like, it'll still exist, but you won't see it every duel. Especially the opening turn. Like, how many times do you play a duel and the first card they activate is Maxi? So, like, limiting it 
doesn't really solve the problem, but it really helps. Because there'll be so much duels where they'll draw into it, like, the, maybe the next turn rather than opening it. And then, and also, like, I'm talking about Master Duel. I'm not talking about OCG. Because I don't know what their ban list is, it looks like. But, like, in Master Duel, if you're going to cross out Max C, then that means you only have one Max C left in your deck if it's at two. And if you only have one Max C, then if you want to cross out the Max C, you got no Max C to use. So I think that would be kind of cool. Bro, didn't I literally just play the against this fucking deck? Like, what the fuck? So I can't target water, right? And they're all water. Cool. He negates one special. I already have... Oh, I need the ritual spell. Okay. So we're going to do... Oh, he may first. Uh, oh, actually, we don't have to grab the ritual spell because we can grab it with ritual sanctuary. So I think I'll actually grab the equip. Uh, we don't need we don't need egg. We'll get egg in the yeah. We'll get egg in the grave because we'll keep one diviner in our hand for a follow up for next turn. We'll ditch our extra. Oh no. Um, we could ditch the Mikonko equip because having a second ritual sanctuary in our hand again. For a follow-up for next turn would be good. Because I don't think we're going to OTK him through this board. There's just too many stuff going on, you know? Uh, we'll grab the Ritual Spell. Uh, he needs to negate the Kagura. Or else we get a, we get a guaranteed pop. We could pop any card. He may he may negate this. Yeah, it's a it's a good negate. Uh, nothing I can do to stop this. So now we can't pop the back row. We also can't tribute Ben Ten. Uh, what sucks? Hold on, let me hold on. When your opponent activates a card or effect that includes the effect of special summoning, quick effect negate the activation. Okay, so if I add it from the graveyard to my hand, can I activate it again? Let's find out. We're gonna add a second Ben 10, add back the Kagura. Let's find out. If I could activate it again, that'd be amazing. Oh my god! Oh my god, dude! Oh my god, that is amazing. Maxi, uh, yeah, we'll cross out that. Holy shiitake mushroom, bro! All right, we have no more Maxis left though. We only play two. Let's fucking go, dude! That was amazing. Finally, the Valks are getting the respect they deserve. Uh, and when I say cracked, I mean on crack. Yes. We're on that fairy dust, boy. The Valks gave it to me. Okay, I ate, a f I ate a fiber bar now. That was like 130 calories. Uh, this hand sucks, but we're going second. So the reason why I could activate it twice is because there's some cards that negate effects. And then there's other cards that say like negate the activation, which means that the card was never activated. So it, it lets you like activate it if you somehow get it again. Because the activation never, like, it never occurred. Because the activation was negated. Um, do we, okay, this could just be bait.
Thank you for the follow, Anton. Ant is it? Is it Anton or Ant One? Thank you for the follow, Anton. Or Anton? Welcome to the stream. Ant One wants to the mention adventure token. <sighs> Safer enchantress. What? Anton. There was a fourth option? Effect negation is stronger than activation negate. Um, it, doesn't Enchantress only give you the spell card? We, the, we want to ash this because this gives them the negate. This gives them uh, Griffin, which is the negate, which is what we don't want. We don't care about anything else. So, right? I think it's okay to ash this. I think this is what I want to ash. I don't care if they get the token. I don't care if they get the equip either. I just don't want Griffin on the field to negate. Yeah, so. Cool. Good. That's all they had. Thank God. Okay. Triple tactics. Uh, this might come up. Our hand is doo doo. We lose our normal summon, which sucks. There is a delay. Kirby, no! Oh no. Kermit this card is the whole reason they added uh, bullet points to the game. Not the thrust. Anything but the thrust. Kermit thrust. Damn, which, which one do I get rid of? Triple tactics or call by? I think we get rid of call by. The only thing that sucked about this hand is that we lost our normal summon. So we actually get Diviner with this hand, which is kind of cool. But we don't we, we can't normal summon Diviner anymore. So it's kind of fucked. We also have to ditch Tactics or Herald. Or we could wait. Since we can't normal summon Diviner anyway, what we could do is just search the equip and then just send it to the graveyard. And then just kind of keep our hand. But he did get to search a card, so... If I... If I tribute Ben 10, I add any fairy. But there's no fairy I can add other than Diviner that can help me. Because I don't have any other way of getting fairies in my graveyard. Okay, you know what? Um, we're going to... Ah, shit. We're in, a, we're in a really bad spot. I don't even know if I can make Arclight. Because I have to discard another spell. And he, he's not even activating any hand traps. Again, triple tactics. Just being dead in my hand. Okay, we're going to grab the equip. And we'll send it to the grave. And that's it. Like, come on. Seriously? Nothing? Like, why? This happens This happens pretty often, man. Like, we... <laughs> when we want our opponent to do something, they don't do shit. When we don't want them to do anything... They fucking have everything. Like, come on. <laughs> fucking hell, dude. Oi, oi, oi. Now I, I'm probably going to have to get rid of uh, Ben 10 now. I have to get rid of a Light Fairy to negate. I'm sure if I negate this, we're fine because he bricked. But now I have to get rid of an important piece. Ben 10 or Ohime? There's one copy of Ben 10 in my deck. I no, no, I, I think I'm playing three. Um, <sighs> Either way, as long as they don't summon a monster, I can special summon the Herald from the graveyard and then potentially make Arc Light. So then we'll have a negate 
And then when Arclight goes to the grave, we can search Ben 10 from the deck. Oh, you're fucking kidding me, bro. Come on, man. Holy shit, dude. Alright, so we don't have arc light anymore. Holy fuck, man. Woo! This is the battle of the bricks, man. We both just have dog shit fields. Our hands were fucking garbage. Virtual world with uh, adventure engine? Now I lose. Oh my god, bro! Okay, I got 1,100 calories remaining. He's going to pop off now. Okay, so if we survive, if we survive, big if, big, big if. If we're not dead, when A, when A goes to the graveyard, we can bring it back. But that means we have to get rid of the equip in the grave. Which will search another ritual sanctuary. Which we could then ditch to search Ben 10. And then we Ohime, grab the ritual spell bag, and then that's our play. If we're not dead, dead. I really wish I had terraforming so I didn't have to play egg. Uh, terraforming, just another perfect example of another card that got hit because uh, of a good deck running around. I miss terraforming. They need to add like a terraforming that's like, uh, that says like discard a card or two. Just make a terraforming that says discard two cards, add a field spell for me, take your hand. Discard two cards, pay 2,000 life points, add one field spell. I'd, I'd still fucking play that shit. Oh my god, what the fuck is he going into? Target one level 7 or higher synchro monster in the field, return to the extra deck, and then special on a dragon synchro from the extra deck. With the same level? Discard a card sounds broken for tier. But it wouldn't be for effect, though. It would be a cost. I think tiers only activate uh, uh, on effect. Calamity lock? He can do that? Isn't calamity level 12? Cal calamity is level tw uh, 10? Well, they got Baron, so like we can't play through a negate with this hand. Crimson Dragon's a bridge for getting for getting a second synchro ten on the field. There goes my field spell. That's pretty much game. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be able to generate enough advantage while they have a negate on the field. Also, they have the trap. So that's. I, I believe it's a pop. This is the card that pops. Yeah. So he has a negate and a pop. I. I don't know, man. Wow. Dude, I'm not gonna even be be able to trigger anything with this. Majestic, is that a negate? Yes, it is. So my triple tactics can also be negated. That that's that's a game. Yeah, the other one is just gonna negate my triple tactics.
oi, 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 dude. Ugh. I'd rather metaverse. Too slow. It's a trap. Oh my god. Damn, it's 4.30? It's been five hours already? My knees are killing me, dude. Nah, Draco Slayer. Whoa. I need a I need to find a way. There's two fusion monsters. That have been recently introduced to the game. There's the new Earthbound Fusion Monster. Where it says that when this card is fusion summoned, you can add a field spell to your hand. And there's an engine you can actually use to make it. And then there's the Dragon. The new Dragon card they introduced. I, I forget what it does. Like I, I think it's the same thing. When it's fusion summoned, add a field spell or something to your hand. Um... We got call by. Okay, we're not going to be ritual summoning this turn. So I'm actually just going to send this to the graveyard. Our only play is Diviner. Uh, Droll does not stop me, I believe. My, my, my end board is going to be dog shit. But it's okay under Droll. Because now I don't have Maxi to work. Damn it! Okay, I can't play around Imperm. Oh my god, dude. Literally, any. Mo Please, just. Monster Hand Trap. And then I would have been fine. But. But, here's the thing. If Nibiru becomes live, Nibiru will trigger my Diviner. So, let's just hope he plays into Nibiru. We also have one Monster Negate. I'm willing to ditch my Ohime if I have to. There's also the Crystal Beast Rainbow Salvation combo. That actually is worth looking into. Flow? Uh... Uh, I think this works, right? Well, Nibiru, you would need to figure out a way to send the trap to the graveyard and add a... It's funny that you mentioned that, Zilly. There is actually a way. Uh, we'll look at it after this duel, actually. I hope he tributes my Diviner. He might actually tribute my Diviner himself. Wait, no. Can they do that? The No, it's send, right? New hand trap would go hard. Um, wait, if I negate this, I just win, right? During the main phase, reveal one level and flow. And banish one flow card with the name immediately normal summon. He chain blocked? Wait, with what? What did he chain block with? What's this is activating? So he summoned this with this card, add one level seven, and then you can normal summon one wing beast. Wait, so how does this activating? It's been so long since I played against flow. If this card is normal summoned, if a wing beast is normal summoned, oh, this card's already banished. Okay, I how did this get banished already? Okay, so we just uh let him let him be. Yeah, so they're not going to be summoning five times, so Nibiru will not happen. When this card is normal summoned, add one level four or lower wing beast monster from your deck to your hand, and then normal summon. This is what we want to negate. Sucks. 
because what sucks about this is that I'm in a top deck situation because I have to I have to get rid of Ohime. But if I don't, they're also going to get uh, what the trap card, right? That will also be their third summon and then they're just going to pass. I won't be able to Nibiru. Man, this sucks. They're just going to attack over my Diviner. L please let me top deck something good. What can I top deck? Um, I only have one spell in the grave. Although I could call by the Droll and then I'll have two. So I could top deck an egg. So we have one egg. I could top deck two more Diviners. So that's three cards. I have three Ritual Sanctuaries. That's six potential cards I could top deck. What else? What else can I top deck? I don't know. Not that. Holy fuck. Oh my god, bro. Ah. Thirty-three cards in my deck. Oh, they'll always find a way to flow. Barrier statue? Get out of my face, bro. Sheesh. Man, these last these last few duels, man, we're just getting so cucked. Like I'm getting cucked by all these cards I didn't want to put in my fucking deck. That I have to put in my fucking deck to stop Maxi, bro. I just wish there was a way I could stop Maxi without needing all these cards. Then I just auto lose to Maxi. I let them draw like 50 cards and then I just lose. Like this build is still the better version. Like this is still still better. Oh, my head's starting to hurt. <sighs> um, it's true. So part of the graveyard. Also, this card is be summoned. Okay, what I will do? Oh, he's he's stacking my deck. Oh, I I I lose. That that's uh that's that's game. Uh, let me just banish my maxi. Call by that. Am I going to be able to Nibiru? In deck of 40 cards, your one plays 3 Max C. They have 30% chance of opening one or more copies of Max C. This means you optimize your hand for non X Y Z, non Max C duels. You should be winning a little less than 66% of the time. That assumes you cut every single Max C counter.
Nibiru is live! Nibiru is live! Ah, 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 ah. Damn, that's crazy. Nibiru is live. Let's go. It's alive! It's alive! <laughs> he still had a normal summon? Wait, what? Wait, does the big dude give him a normal summon too? Oh, what the fuck? Dude, I thought just the little ones give him normal summons. Wow. God damn, are you kidding me? We could have stopped the Apex Avion. This is this is the first time I played against Flo in months. In months. Uh, unfortunately, I can't go Elf yet. Hold on, let me read the trap. We could go Battle Phase. Wait, why? Can't, okay, during the main phase, uh, normal summon one level four lower wing beast. Uh, if you tribute someone level 7 or higher monster while this card's in the graveyard, banish this card, change, uh, you can only use this effect once per turn. Wait, he can do that this turn, right? I'm, I'm pretty much cooked. Oh, we could normal summon, go elf. Uh, elf summons diviner, diviner pop off, and we could win, but unfortunately... This isn't a perfect world we live in. Unless. Um, if he summons the big dude, does the big dude only protect other flows? Because if it does, we might have a chance. Once per battle during damage call, if this card battles an opponent's mo Okay, only this card. There's there's a chance there's a chance we we can actually make a comeback. Because if he just makes this guy, wait, there's another big dude. I forget what the other guy does. The big dude floodgates elf. The one I'm reading. Your opponent cannot activate the effects of special summon monsters they control in attack mode. Ah. Man, that sucks. Close. We almost made a comeback. Yeah, but cross out is to stop uh, uh, Max E, though. Like, uh, all the hand traps are literally for Max E. So I don't want to cut something that's going to help play against Maxi. Plus, it's better to keep the spells than the, the hand trap monsters because I can get rid of the spells for Ritual Sanctuary to search my starters. No! My dance! Here's the other guy. You can conduct up to three normal summons. Oh my god. This guy is popping off, dude. Well, this tribute summon card is mon your monster attack to defense. Pierce once per turn. Banish one uh, card from your hand. Change all special summon monsters your opponent rolls to face down. Damn. Damn, bro. Can you not activate that right now? Why aren't you using Mulchami Aperulia against Flo instead of Maxi? Cause my daddy's not rich enough. He couldn't. He couldn't buy me the card with his credit card. You aren't worrying about Maxi sixty percent of the games uh, as is. So if you cut a single. Did you just say, I'm not worrying about Maxi 66% of the games? Have you been... Godzilla, have you been... How long have you been watching me stream today? I think like... Every single game. Almost every single game. We have to fight through Max. Like, someone is activating Maxi, whether it's me or my opponent. 
Now we lose. Oh, I'm already in main phase too? Cool. So if you cut a single card that your chances of losing to Maxi aren't significantly increased. Mathematically, Maxi is in your opponent's hand only 30% of the time. That is not true, though. That is not true. You want to know why? Because... Now, I know you're saying statistically, but that's not that's not exactly how statistics work, though. Statistics, statistics are still RNG. Everything is still fucking random. That's assuming... That's assuming... Like, the computers are literally programmed to make sure that there's a 33% chance of opening it, which is not. Because that's not exactly what the computer's doing. We all know this isn't true. It's literally all RNG. It's it's more like 50% that way. When any When anything is RNG, especially when people can maximize... The amount of cards, in this case, three of a certain card, it's honestly, you might as well just change your mindset and say it's 50% chance. They either have it or they don't. And most of the times they do. So I would even argue it's even more than 50%. So I don't fuck with numbers like that. Because if you think like that, you're setting yourself up for disappointment. Because that's not, that's not exactly how the world is working. You just have to go off experience. Because let me tell you, these motherfuckers, they got that shit 99% of the time. It is RNG if you use a hyper geometric calculator and uh, apply all variables, it's only 30% of the time. Let's see here. We have nothing. We have nothing. Zero. Zero, you see? My chances of having Maxi this game was a 0% chance. A 33% chance just became a 0% chance. No hope. No hope. We lose. That's game. We have no plays. I put this in my deck because of Maxi. I put this in my deck because of Maxi. I put this in my deck because of Maxi. I put this in my deck because of Maxi. Only you. You're the only one who's welcome here. We got one card. We got one of our two starters. But because of all these fucking cards, we didn't draw shit. This is the problem with playing hand traps, man. And it's against Runic? Okay. Let's see what version of Runic they're playing. I'm going to guess they're playing the most toxic floodgate version of Runic you'll ever see. They're going to they're probably they probably opened up uh, their one of traps con continuous traps. I guarantee it. Uh, Nature your Runic? If I destroy it, it just goes back to the extra deck. We definitely don't want them getting the field spell. But they still have their entire Naturia engine. So we are going to Ash this. And then we are going to Herald their next monster effect. Call by the Grape. Of course. Of course. Of course they have it. Of course. Of course, this card is at two. And they had a hundred percent chance to open it this this game. <laughs> they just had a hundred percent chance. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Alright, well we should just pack up our bags now. Holy shit, I'm tired, man. Yeah, but I like I don't have plays. That's the thing. I just have to top deck something. 
Okay, good. That's exactly what we need at the top deck. But the thing is, like, I also need to get the equip card in my grave or else I can't pop anything. Also, oh yeah, I guess Nibiru's dead. I'll discard Nibiru. Z, math stinks? Not my math. Man, I really wish I had this in the graveyard. If this cross out was a foolish burial. Not a foolish burial. Something that lets me get my fucking equipment in the grave. Um, okay, so. But now we don't have Herald of Orange Light anymore. Because we have to like we have to make plays. We're gonna search Diviner. He's got the Maxi. Mm, yeah, I guess we'll cross out. You see, they had a hundred percent chance to open Maxi. Tell you man, like almost every single duel we see Maxi. It's crazy. Really wish I had that equip in my hand. We could have triggered the huggin. There's no delays. Interesting. Very interesting. Uh, Ohime is... Yeah, we'll, we'll tribute Ohime. Now we'll trigger the Huggin. If another card you control will be destroyed, you can bash this card you control instead. doesn't really matter what we target. He's just going to protect anything we pop. Check my graveyard real quick. Okay, we're going to go Sashed. Man, this, this end board is dog shit. Uh, but it's the best we got. Okay, now there's, now there's a delay. Okay, so... The reason why there there wasn't the, the the delay is because he has the runic card that only has one of its effects, which is to special summon a runic card. Uh, I forget. Do I want a mill? No, because he doesn't. He only has one runic card in his grave. I don't want to give him any more runic cards, and it's too risky. Going into more runic cards. Okay, when this card is XYZ summoned, you can send one monster from your extra deck to the graveyard. We could send a test, but he could just chain and special summon Huggin again, which he probably will. Uh, if we if we do Chaos Angel, banish the field spell, that's a guaranteed banish. Unless this back row negates. So there's that. We can go aggregator. And instead of milling the Tess, we could mill uh, Herald of Arc Light, which gives us Ohime back. And then we could also activate Aggregator's second effect to re equip Arc Light so we could activate it again. We're going to do this instead, though. There's a lot of options, but we're going to do this. We, we kind of got him in a very good spot right now. We're going to banish the field spell. We're going to go Muckcracker. We're going to ditch Herald. There's a delay. Oh, come on. What?!
interesting. That's crazy. Oh. Damn. Nibiru. All right, we're in a top deck situation, boys. He doesn't have a field spell anymore. But we're kind of in trouble. Uh, This is kind of good, but I don't have any way of getting it to the graveyard. Let's hope he let's hope he, he pops it. Um I'm also going to Yeah, I need to Fuck. Do I set this? We can get back Ohime from the graveyard if if he pops this. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna set. Seventy-eight percent likely to open one or more of those cards, and thirty-six likely to open two or more. I didn't account for a break such a trias, so your breaking percentage should be closer to forty percent. That's a good. That's a good top deck. Fuck. Really good top deck. But it would be way better if this spell card was in my hand now. But I said it. In hopes that he would pop it. But he didn't pop it. God damn it. Okay. But we can, we can, we can, we can uh, do big, 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 big plays. Uh, I need to activate this now. And equip it to my monster. So that it, it can go to the graveyard. When my monster gets ditched. Now we could bring back Diviner. Returning these two. What are these cards, man? They gotta be they gotta be runic cards. We are gonna activate the effect, so unfortunately we can't go into his synchro play. We're gonna mill triads. Please don't be a call by the grave. I swear to god, dude. Well actually call by the grave doesn't stop us. Now we tribute these two. Now we have the equip in the graveyard. We also get a guaranteed pop. Unless he calls by. Let's fucking go, dude. Holy crap. What were those face downs? The Chaos Angel plays were the correct plays to make. Oh my god, what am I doing? They could have been Naturia Sacred Trees. They could have been a Blessing with no target. Yeah, it could have been Blessing or Tree, just with no targets. Oy, 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 oy. I'd say we reduce the hand traps, we change for spell type board breakers. So then, do I have Dark Ruler no more? I have three copies. Cool. So let's say I get rid of Cross Out, okay? They maxi me. 
they make an amazing board. Dark Ruler would only be good if I went second. But even then, I can't OTK. Uh, let's say I go first, they maxi me. Dark Ruler doesn't do anything. Um... Drop an ash. Why? Why do we drop ash? Do you have a forbidden droplet? Yeah, I got three. Uh, you can get uh, spells in the grave that way. Forbidden droplet is really, really good. And I could potentially put in forbidden maiden to search it, which can also special summon drip from the deck, but then that eats up my normal summon. So maybe I don't want to put that in. But Droplet is definitely worth considering. Should I do Droplet over Triple Tactics? I would take a droplet because even if they uh, pop off with a maxi, you can droplet their board and it doesn't matter if they draw their whole deck. Yeah, but th the worst part about maxi though. Uh, like, is if I'm going first. I'm going first and they maxi me and they draw a bunch of shit. And then. It all it all depends on how much targets I can do with uh, Droplet. So what would I take out for Droplet? Ultimate Slayer? I don't think Ultimate Slayer... Works. We're gonna activate monster effects in response to this card. Send one monster from your extra deck to the graveyard, and then target one monster your opponent controls the same type. Shuffle it into the deck. Ultimate Slayer is actually pretty good. Fusion, we send a test, get a pop. Synchro, we send Arc Light, get a search. XYZ, we send Aggregator, we get a second interruption. The only problem is links. I don't have any links worth sending. That's actually not that's actually not too bad. Send IP Reviver with Elf, you can't do that. Don't link monsters need to be properly summoned first? Yeah, but I don't want to craft it. I only have 77 UR. Droplet over triple tactics is fair. Ultimate Slayer is also good since we're playing the test Arc Light and Aggregator. It's one for an exchange, potentially more if you're hitting the test or heralds. That doesn't work without probably summoning IP first. So, like, this card is actually really good. Really good. Only good going second, though. That's the thing. That's the only problem I have with this card. If I go first, it's it's a brick. At most, I can get rid of it for Ritual Sanctuary. But that's only if I have Ritual Sanctuary. Send the Tri Brigade to draw a card. I I don't think I have him. What's his name again? He's like the Link Four, right? Uh, Tri Brigade. I did, did I not spell it right? Is it like this? Yeah, I don't have him. It's this one, right? This card is sent for, to the graveyard. You can send one beast. No, wait. That's not this one. This one. Shureg. 
Is it Shure? This card is sent to the graveyard. You can have one. Wait, which one are we talking about? Did I miss it? This card is sent to the graveyard. Wait, which Tribal Gate card are we talking about? Reasoning? I was considering reasoning. But then I have I have too many like the ritual monsters. Like if they if they hit the graveyard, I have no way to recover them. The link to Tri Brigade? I thought there was a, a link Tri Brigade. Like a big link Tri Brigade. That had like a graveyard effect when it's like sent to the graveyard, you do you do something? Am I am I getting confused with a different link monster? This one? If this card sent the graveyard, you can draw one card, then place one card uh from your hand on the bottom of the deck. I have nothing to take out, unfortunately. Like if I'm putting Ultimate Slayer, also none of this actually matters because I only have 77 UR. So I, I can't even if I'm playing Ultimate Slayer, I think that's probably we'll put, probably put three, and then we'll just take out uh, Crossouts. We'll take out one Ash. Um, and then maybe Herald of Orange Light. We'll take out. It's a Link Four with two in its name. Are you sure it's a Tri Brigade? This one. Okay, am I just blind? Cannot be special summon from the extra deck. Your opponent kind of activate cards or effects when you special summon a monster. When a monster declares attack, you banish this card. Banish all cards your opponent controls. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can send one beast, beast war wings. Oh no, this is the yeah, this is the one. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can send one beast, beast warrior, or wing beast from your extra deck to the graveyard. Yeah, so this one, and then you mill um, uh, Garuda, Garuda. Yeah, okay. So it was this one. Yeah, link five. So yeah, you mill this, and then uh, Garura gives you a draw. But that means I have to add Garura. Okay, but Link, uh, what's it called, Link Slayer? It's actually that is actually pretty good, because I have extra deck cards I want to get in the graveyard, and it would become a starter hitting Arcolite. But then that's also situational; they'd have to summon a Synchro. Although Baron's pretty popular. One or two Slayer if we add it. I think three would be too bricky. If we add Garua, then Super Poly definitely be, uh, comes an option. Unfortunately, we're not playing the card that searches it. What up, Zora? Happy days. Baron and Barrel Old Dragon will be banned. Unfortunately, I, uh, Summon Limit is banned too. I'm just going to the trade off. <laughs> yeah, you play Summon Limit. Yeah, good. Very good trade. Very good trade. Extra Foolish Burial? No, no, it's not. It's not worth it. Like, the whole point of those cards was that, like, Extra Slayer does two things. Extra Foolish Burial just does one thing. It just sends from the extra to the grave. Cards like Nadir Servants, uh, uh, the Slayer card we're just talking about, they do two things. They send from the extra deck, and then they also do other stuff. Um, okay, but what, what was I looking at before this? What was I looking at before Slayer? I think it was Droplet, right? Droplet? It's in a pack. Oh, I don't have gems. I'm thinking Droplet. But what, what do I take out? I'm not too sure what I take out. Cut triple tactics and cross out. But yeah, but that's two spells. Like, what monsters do I cut? We haven't seen Cyber Tutubon once. 
all day. It sucks that we can't search it. If we can search this this bad boy. Fuck, dude. It's so amazing. I can't even search this so like we never see it. Saw it once? Once. And I don't even remember it. I know for a fact we didn't use it. I know 100% for a fact I did not get to activate her effect today. Uh, she's pretty cool. She she has a second effect too. If she's tributed for a ritual summon, you add a ritual spell from the graveyard to your hand. So like so much synergy. She special summons without eating your normal summon, which is dope. She can get Trias into the graveyard. She can activate Diviner from the hand without having to normal summon Diviner. Tribute Benten from the hand. She's amazing. Maybe I should put her to three. And maybe get rid of one for one. But I never see her. Hold on, Sora. Are you make are you sure you are subscribed to the Patreon, Sora? To get your free VR. Would you like to make a room and test? I'm okay with sacrificing my rank. Like, she's a level 5 warrior. Sacrifice Maxi and just play Maxi at 1. Cut Maxi entirely. Cut Maxi entirely. I don't know. Cut Maxi to pieces. This is my last resort. Uh, you were playing the same amount of spells if you cut cross out for droplet. But the thing is, I want to play more though. Like, I want more spells. Okay, you know what? I'm not digging Harold. Like, we've only played it, what, once or twice? You have you, you need another card in your hand. Upstart. I don't think I have it. I, I might have one. Let me just check. Okay, I think I have one or zero. I have one. Reasoning, yeah, reasoning is really good. Like I like reasoning. But the problem with reasoning is if I mill my rituals, I have nothing that recycles my rituals. So if they get milled, they're gone forever. Like, they're just gone. I have no way to add me Ohime back to my hand, and I have no way to add Benten back to my hand. They're like one and done. Monster Reincarnation? I'm not putting that in my deck. But, like, I like reasoning, though. Reasoning is awesome. Reasoning is really good. Sometimes we even get the special summon diviner off of it. I could... Okay, you know what? Instead of one for one... Maybe instead of one for one, reasoning might be better. Because it's no, it's no cost. Why is Link Rebo banned? Because of the snake eyes. So. 
Get rid of Harold. Cro uh, one forbidden droplet. Get rid of triple tax. Put double forbidden droplet. Reasoning is risky, but even if we get to mill something, as long as it's not the rituals, like let's say they guess two and we get uh, diviner, like diviner in the grave isn't always a bad thing because of ritual sanctuary. But yeah, milling Sigrun or the, the rituals is going to suck. How many spellcasters? Uh, we took out spellcasters. No spellcasters. Originally... Originally, we played Magician Souls, which is honestly not bad. I liked it. All right, Sora, once again, is a Patreon member, so he gets to play videos for the stream to watch. Can you post the link again, Sora? Uh, also, what was I going to look at? Is that a wild Z on the mass dual comeback timing? Uh, what's Gazi? What up? Uh, TTV, Kirito, Callum. Uh, this Valk deck is actually. It got us the diamond. It's doing pretty good. Milling Ritual Sanctuary, too. Oh, yeah, that's right. But we're playing lots of ritual monsters and lots of sanctuaries. So we also might be alright. As long as we don't mill all three, yeah. We can always use one ritual sanctuary to re uh, recur the others. Yeah. Valk's baby. Uh Okay, hold on. Uh da, 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 da. All the more reason why I can't let you in. Here is Justice has finally struck the Omni negates. So Sora, as a Patreon member uh, of the highest tier, gets to play videos for uh, the stream to watch and here is all the more His first video. I let you interlopers get in the way of them now. Get a Kaiho! But your luck has run out. Just standing there. Hakai. This is a uh, Link Rebo, Baron, and Barlod getting Hakai. That's crazy. All the more reason why I can't let you interlopers get in the way of them now. I know uh, Funt can toss Rainbow Salvation to the graveyard. Oh yeah, I forgot. We were supposed to look at that. Play Pot of Avarice to recycle rituals. Ooh, you know what? Pot of Avarice. Pot of Avarice is a brick going, like, opening it in your hand. But it's it's a good choice. It's good. Did you hear about Baron? Yeah, we already went over all the TCG stuff. I think it'll come to Master Duel soon. Think it'll come to Master Duel? You mean you mean like the ban list? Like, do you think it'll they'll kind of do some of those uh, hits to the Master Duel ban list? Uh, yeah, I do think some of them might come to Master Duel. Not, not like not everything. Like, maybe one. Like, for example, like, I wouldn't be surprised if Link Rebo or Baron gets banned in Master Duel. But everything else, like, probably not. If we're playing Reasoning, we may as well put Avarice. Uh, at that point, there's too many cards. But also, I want, I want at least two Reasonings. Because Reasoning could also mill... my spells for my ritual sanctuary which is pretty good what up yusuku welcome to the youtube stream switch out foolish for a reasoning hmm. yeah yeah let's try that i like that okay did i forget anything oh yeah so the the rainbow salvation is it a UR? 
Wait, wait, where is it? This one? Where am I from? I'm from Canada. Uh, if there are two more uh, different monster types among level 10 or higher monsters in the fields. Oh, no. We want the graveyard effect, right? Thank you, Suku, for the YouTube sub. Uh, uh, let's see here. Pass this card from the graveyard. Add a Crystal Beast monster and one field spell from your deck to your hand. Okay. So, Crystal Beasts actually have a Light Fairy. In Rupee Carbuncle. And... Oh, it's level 3? What the fuck? I thought it was level 1. Oh, it's level 3. That's weird. Okay. If this card is special summon, you can special summon as many Crystal Beast monsters uh, as possible from your spell and trap zone. If this card is destroyed, place it face up in your spell and trap zone. Which, who knows, might come up. Um, Is there anything else? What about the dark ones? There's dark versions too, right? They don't have a level 1, unfortunately. It's not in the field zone. Send this card to the graveyard. If this card is summoned... Yeah, so they do have a Light Fairy, but... There's not much synergy with this, though. If you play food, you can easily toss Salvation to the graveyard, but that's still too many cards. Foont? Like, the thing with Foont... Okay, for the people who aren't Valk enjoyers... Um, Valks also have another monster where you, you can send any spell and trap from the deck to the graveyard. Which is this card. And all your Valks gain 200 attack for each banished monster. So I can mill any spell card. So I can mill even the Mikonko spell card, which... I need it in my graveyard a lot. Like, it comes up. But the problem with that is you want to summon it off the uh, one-card Diviner play. So Diviner, Mill Triads, Tribute Diviner, Summon uh, Sesh, Sesh summons a monster from the deck. That's the main way you're going to summon it. But it is level 2. It is level 2. So we can make an easy elf with it after we mill. There's a lot of, there's a lot of synergy with the Valks. Um, like, I don't know what to, uh, like, I really want to put it in, but I just don't know if it's gonna, like, how good it's gonna work. Do you agree that, uh, they need to hit uh, Snake Eyes on multiple cards? On multiple cards. Um, not including Bonfire, since Bonfire is generic. Well, to be fair, I think Bonfire should be at 1. Just like Reinforcement of the Army is at 1. So just put Bonfire to 1. Which is not a Snake Eye hit. So that one doesn't count. Ash. I think Poplar to 1. Poplar to 1 makes sense. And then maybe Ash to 2. The deck will still be super strong. But the grind game... It hurts them in the grind game. Which is I, th I think is fine. Put put Poplar to 1 and then put Ash to 2. Uh, put Rota to 2. Yeah. To 2 or 3. Actually, I don't know. Maybe not 3. 2. I think 2 is fine. Okay. So... What's the... I can't even see the name. Is it GGYGO? I can't even see the name. Thank you for the raid. Whoever raided me. I think it said like GGYGO. Thank you for the raid. It was hard. I can't see the... I couldn't see the name. It was tough to see. Emily Hill... Hill... Hillif. Hey. Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. Pop Earth 1 and Ash 2 makes the deck borderline unplayable. Are you sure about that? It's pronounced Liv. Liv? Live? Where's the... There's no Lee. There's no V. Okay, I'll just say Emily. Yeah, GG. It was GG. YGO. Yeah, thank you for the raid, GG. Okay, whoopsies. Uh, okay. Is it worth... See, the, the, and the problem with this card is that it's, it's, it's not a good, like, main play. The main play is always summon Sesh and then either go into Drit or Sigrun. And if I go into this, you only go into this if you have other pieces in your hand already. So for now, I won't put this, but 
I might come back to this in the future. Okay, so do I leave call by or do I take it out? Um, I kind of want to test this version the way it is. And we'll see how that works. Let's see. So for those of you joining right now, uh, we made it to Diamond with a Valkyrie deck. With uh, a little bit of Ritual Engine for support. Mainly uh, the Mikanko or Orihime. It's pretty good. It's doing pretty good. This hand is perfect. Oof. Perfect, dude. But, actually, I don't have anything to discard, though. So maybe I do Diviner. See, if Diviner gets hit with an Imperm, we can't dodge the Imperm. If I activate Ohime, we search the Ritual spell. I either have to discard Ash or Call By. I think I think it's okay to to ditch the Ash. Because this Hmm. Yeah. I'll call No, 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 no. We want to we want to stop Maxi. I'll let him ash it. I'll, I'll let him, I'll let him ash it. I'm not gonna call by it. We do lose to Imperm. We do lose to Imperm. If he Imperms us, we're in big trouble. No Imperm, let's go, dude. No Imperm, let's go. <laughs> Let's go, dude. We're good. We took the risk. It paid off. But that was pretty risky. But, uh... He asked the... I can't even f remember her name. Or... Orime? Orihime? Ohime. Holy fuck, dude. My my short-term memory is fucking... Is, is happening. Scooping to Diviner. <laughs> yes, Godzilla. Ohime. I literally forgot Ohime's name and I played every single day. Add subversion? That's for the Snake Eyes Valks. That's not for this version. Subversion is good, though. Okay. Uh, we're going second. We have Ash. This could be people. I've noticed people are playing sprites. This could be a sprite live twin, or this could be a unchained live twin. If this is sprites, he'll they'll just extend off of this. Also, do they? I forget. Do these guys have like a quick play that they could chain if if we ash? I think I want to ash this. This was normal summoned, right? No and yes. Okay, so I do want to ash this. Um, Let's just hope it's not Sprite. Okay, so our hand... We got Preparation of Rites, so we could search Ohime or Benten. Ohime search the Ritual spell. Ditch Trias. It's fucking Sprites, dude! Oh my god! We're fucked. Think your deck can beat my OTK Black Wings? Yeah, if I go first. Any deck can win if they go first and don't get hand traps. That's what that's what's that's that's what a good thing and a bad thing about Yu-Gi-Oh. If you go first, any deck can beat almost any deck. And if you don't get hit with hand traps, even better. What you laughing at, Fab? Oh, I should have I should have trusted my gut. I should have trusted my gut. It's almost never wrong, dude. Uh, okay, do we do we pretty much lose now? Cause we based on this hand, we have to normal summon egg. So we lose our normal summon. Kind of trash. This I hate having to normal summon egg. Especially when we already have ritual sanctuary. 
Droplet? Let's see. If we get Droplet, we still have to normal summon Egg. Because for Ritual Sanctuary, we have to discard a spell card. So Egg will give us an extra spell card. And then we have full combo. But the... I can get Diviner, but then I need to find a way to get it to the graveyard. Hopefully they don't negate anything until I, after I get my Diviner. Then I could just pitch it with uh, Droplet, if we top deck Droplet, and then special summon it from the graveyard. And then we go full combo. I also wasn't paying attention to anything he, he added from his deck to his hand, so... I might get blindsided. Yeah, I can beat your OTK deck uh, if I go first. Funny as fuck. <laughs> oh, Cyber 2-2. Two, two. Okay. Maxi. Fucking son of a bitch. Fucking. Oh, my God. Dude. Fucking annoying. All right. So now we can normal summon. Because we we, we, we we drew Cyber 2-2. Two, two. We, we drew Jacob 2-2. Two, two. But he still has the monster negate, so and he's got. Oh my god! Holy fuck, dude! That's pretty much game. Oh yeah, yeah, bro. And he's got two back rows too. Watch it be like a callbine and imperm and shit. God damn it, bro. And the thing is, I don't have a spell card. Oh, no. They didn't negate. Uh, they didn't negate my egg. So, I do get the search. Wait. They, they negated it? Yes, they did. Oh, they asked. I forgot. I literally forgot. They, they asked it. Okay. Um. We could make an elf. We could make our own elf. But we're kind of fucked. We're, we're like really fucked. Because now we don't have a spell card to ditch for a sanctuary. We can we can still search Ohime though. We can search Ohime. Ohime we so we could ritual summon Ohime. Um but like Ohime doesn't give us a game. And if they have Imperm, we kinda lose. Like I mean we lose all, we lost already. Like it's it's done, it's over. What we're gonna do is we're gonna activate preparation of rights. And I just played in a fucking imperm column potentially, Jesus Christ. My brain's off now. Fuck. I could also search Ben 10. So I could just search Ben 10 and then activate Tutubon to tribute. Shit, that's actually that's actually better. Yeah, let's not get Ohime. Let's special summon Tutu by tributing Ben 10. So now we get Diviner. Now we also have Elf. We can search Ohime off Benton and then we tribute off Tutu. Z, blowing up with viewers. I can't see my text anymore. We got raided. What up, Josh? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. Because now we can normal summon Diviner. They activate something. We quick effect Trias. Ensure Diviner gets their effect. And we tribute three fa Oh, fuck. Tutu's not a fairy. Never mind. Okay, so we still get the pop, but we don't get the draw two. Wait. Oh, I normal summoned. Oh, I forgot. I, I forgot. I forgot I normal summoned. I forgot. Oh, I forgot we normal summoned egg, brother.
Well, that's that's game. That is G the G, bro. Sanctuary's dead because I ain't got no spell card. We can make an elf that's just going to get negated. Or hit with something, an imperm, anything. And I forgot, this whole time we were under maxi. This guy just opened up fucking everything, dude. Yeah, there's an imperm. And I only have one spell in my grave. If I had two, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. Yeah, the normal summoning the egg. If I had remembered that, we just we summon Ohime instead. And then we st we still have Diviner. Eva, I don't have enough. I don't play enough fairies. Oh, Ohime would have been uh, way better. Oh my god. I forgot I normal summon the egg. This hand sucks. We have no plays. Absolutely nothing. He has nothing too. Cool. He's gonna. Can he banish face downs? Oh no! It's just God fucking damn it. All right. If we ash this, he can only target face up cards. Cool. Okay. So what he can do is he can attack with this first, and then attack with Fenrir and then banish. Yeah. And then Fenrir gets to continue the attack and attack me directly. That is busted. That is broken. This card is, is fucking broken. It does too much. It does so much fucking garbage shit. This card does not make any sense, man. Shouldn't be able to just continue the attack like that. Okay, if this doesn't get ashed. Okay, we have call by. We're fine. This is good. This is a really good top deck. Um, I'm going to use the one from my hand because I want him to, to think this one is an imperm. Should I double call by him just to extra make sure? Like we want to negate, negate. Oh, I'm a fucking idiot. Now I don't have a card to discard. Man, I did not think through. Yeah, I think I'm just... I'm too tired now, man. We were supposed to use the one on the field, not the one in our hand. Because we I forgot we have to discard for Ohime. God fucking damn it, bro. We don't want to discard any of these. 
That was a big misplay, man. Oh my god, the fucking the fuck ups. <sighs> I'm too tired, bro. Alright, let's see what we draw next turn. If I make a comeback, that's kind of crazy. Because we also have the equip in the graveyard now. So if we get to Ritual Summon and they deal with Ohime, which actually, wait, they're going to fucking banish Ohime. That shouldn't be a, too much of a problem, though. Because we're going to get Diviner and then Normal Summon Diviner and then go into Diviner, please. We still have one. Okay, that's game. Wait. Yeah, 1900 Mud Dragon, we lose. That's what I get for misplaying. I I beat myself. God fucking damn it, bro. Might as well. That was a big fuck up. <sighs> I think I'm gonna go to sleep, man. Yeah, I'm gonna go to sleep. I'll probably have time for a second stream today. I'm gonna go to sleep and then I'm gonna work out. And then, uh, as long as I'm not sleepy again after I work out, I'll do a second stream today. Nice, we hit a thousand gems. Cool. We hit our goal today, though. We hit diamond with Valks. Oh. But yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching the stream. Thanks for the, again for the raid. If you guys are still watching and haven't hit the follow button, make sure to hit the follow button. I stream when I can. Playing Valks, nothing but Valks. On YouTube and Twitch. Follow me on Instagram for thirst traps and where I am keeping track of my fitness progression. We're down about four pounds. We're going to get buff and cut at the same time, baby. All right. Peace out, guys.